Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Vintage Breaks. This is Johnny Five coming to you live from the 459 here in Central New Jersey. Uh, we are going to be uh, going on the PSA Facebook show at 4.30. Uh, Layton just wanted to hop on a little bit earlier uh, to talk to you guys on, on YouTube and Breakers TV and Periscope. Uh, he has a couple of announcements, uh, a couple of things to show off. Um, so, uh, I'm going to wait for him to pop on. Uh, meanwhile, you guys feel free to chat. Uh, let's see how many... So, a uh, quick announcement. Our offline big board card has sold out. Uh, it is the... Uh, 57 tops Willie Mays, PSA 8, off-centered. Uh, we need 150 entries to sell us out, uh, but only if we spent $100 during checkout while we were offline. So it is now filled up. So we're going to be giving those, uh, giving this away soon. So that, there's that. Uh, hey, what's up, Chef? What's up, Matthew? Yep. Yes, sir. Live with you guys. Uh, so that is the offline big board that we'll be going, uh, we're going to be doing soon. Um, Victoria, if you could email me that list. Yeah, I don't see. Oh, you did it way early this morning. Okay. Nice. What's up, Eric? Welcome back. All right, so we'll be doing that once I get on. The new offline paperboard, guys, I'm going to update on the website. It's going to be this 1969 Tops Walt Frazier rookie card, SEC 88. Uh, this will be updated on the Snapper page. Layton is ready, so he'll hop on. I'm going to take care of this myself. Uh, all right. There you go, Layton. Hold your tea and I'll get a hop on it. Yes, yeah, sounds great. Hey, what's up, everybody? Good afternoon. Hey, William, thanks for joining us. What's going on, Eric? Hey, hey Chef. What's up, buddy? We'll have that package for your kids next week. Um, uh, I think they'll be very pleased with it, and their friends as well. Uh, that's for Lou. Yeah, it's going to be great, Ted. So I want to make sure uh, we're going to talk about the PSA show. Um, we are going to open this tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Eastern time. And the reason being Chef and everyone else who's uh, either in on this break who are, or is interested, we want to make sure that as many people as possible can watch this live. So we reached out to PSA. It's going to be on our website. We're going to do this duly on Sports Collectors Daily uh, Facebook page. We're going to try to have as many people watching this as possible. We're also going to plan for a free uh, giveaway during this actual break. We appreciate everyone who hopped in on this. Chef, Jim, uh, Dom, and I forgot everyone else, but appreciate it very much. Um, this is the only 55 Bowman pack that we have uh, in stock. Definitely, Ted. Uh, also, you're going to need the stash uh, for J5's character as well. Um, I don't know if you heard, John, but trying to uh, dress up as you to recreate a Vintage Breaks uh, kid scene. And they... that's, uh, that's hard. Yeah, I know. That stash is, is, is that's original. So, I mean, I'm not sure that's going to be an easy thing to recreate. Thanks, Eric. Appreciate it. You know, it's a good point, Eric. So, for those of you who are interested... In the break tomorrow night, please tag your friends. We're going to start promoting it this evening on social media. And, of course, it'll be blasting all day tomorrow. Um, we do have an Instagram account. We've not been that active on it. Um, we just talked with our marketing uh, folks uh, earlier today. We're going to start being more active on there. So we'll be able to, uh, you know, share our Instagram posts as well. It's going to be great. Hey, Jim, thanks for joining us. Appreciate you jumping in. Excuse me, I'm the 55 Bowman. Really excited for tomorrow night. I think you heard me say, but if uh, not, just in case, we're opening this tomorrow night with so Thursday evening, 9 p.m. Eastern. Try to get as many people live to watch this as possible. We'll be, of course, live on YouTube on our channel, but we're also going to be on Sports Collectors Daily, Facebook page, and a few other places uh, to try to get as many folks watching at the same time. Should be a lot of fun. Really looking forward to that. Uh, let's see here. So, um, we uh, J5, you just announced the Walt Frazier, right? Yes. Okay, so this is some stuff for the PSA show. I did want to let everyone know, just because we're on a little bit earlier today, this started at 4 o'clock. This is a winner-take-all. It's uh, $10 per entry, Sam. I'll hand it off in uh, to you in a minute. It's 100 entries. It started at 4. It includes this Griffey Fleer Rookie PSA 9, a 73 tops baseball separate spot, and a nice stack of vintage cards, which I'll show off briefly here. 
added a few things uh, to the site today. Of course, one of them sold out in 51 minutes, and that was the uh, 1955 Bowman pack. Uh, and to be clear for the folks who are in the break, the top card underneath the gum will not be given out uh, as part of the break. That card, the gum, as well as the wrapper will be given out as a random to some uh, one of the individuals who is in on the 55 Bowman break. So this is the winner take all, Sam. I'll hand it off to you. Thank you. Jim, I was utterly shocked. You know, I've heard of miswraps before. Uh, John, you took care of uh, Jim, right? Yes. Great. Uh, yeah, I was utterly shocked. I've heard of miswraps before, Jim. Not on top super. So that was a new one. Cards actually look nice. So they're on the house. Uh, if they're gradable and you want to grade them, you let, it, let me know. But I definitely didn't think they were football. That's for sure. Um, yeah. So uh, I know we're here a few minutes early today. Um, John's going to get on just a minute or two with Lou. One of the reasons why I wanted to go a little bit uh, live a little bit earlier every Wednesday is um, if folks have something that, uh, you know, you'd like to sell, you'd like to trade, um, or it's something you just want to give away. So, for example, I found someone on a message board called Met54. Uh, him and his son are already opening some packs and documenting it. Uh, his son's seven and change. Crosby's not there yet. So we're sending him some boxes on the house. And, uh, you know, maybe someday someone will pay it forward to Crosby. I'm not too worried about it. Um, but uh, so it's not just about, you know, trying to buy and sell. Uh, certainly to me or to us, but with each other, you know, um, and see if there's anything uh, that you guys that have the, uh, that the other one's looking for that the other one doesn't need. So um, we're working on the Chantilly show. Thanks for asking, MSN. Uh, it's our pleasure, Jim. So the PSA show, Heather, will be at 4.30. It starts as usual. Um, next week, we're actually going to be broadcasting on Monday, J5. I don't know if you saw that note from Lou. I think I forgot to reply to you and Lou. <laughs> yeah, he, he just said that it was a reminder for next week. He's on the road. Okay. So uh, Monday, we're going to do a show, not Wednesday. Yeah, same, same time. Yeah. So it'll be next uh, next Wednesday. Hey, William, thanks for joining us, bud. Excuse me while I uh, get myself situated here. So for uh, tomorrow night, I know we have um, a new uh, 59 Tops Baseball set break. We now have all the cards we need. So that'll be listed. Uh, we do have some other goodies planned as well. I do not, unfortunately, have another 1955 Bowman pack, but I am looking forward very much to opening that tomorrow night. Today on the PSA show, uh, folks, for those of you who are watching uh, us now on youtube.com slash vintage breaks, we're going to give away uh, another PSA membership. Um, on the PSA show today, but the only way to participate is to follow us, uh, engage, and chat with us um, on the show. You can find us at facebook.com slash PSA card, and of course, that'll start at 4.30. Look forward to having you join us there. So another thing I was going to announce, J5, to start PSA show, just because it seems like, uh, you know, not everyone can have, like, the rabbit foot that uh, Chef has or that Joe A has when he keeps winning PSA. So what I'd like to do is, if, if uh, J5, what do you think about this? If uh, you've never won before and you finish in first, you'll get the PSA package. But if not, meaning if you've won before, we'll give you a $25 break credit. person in second place gets the PSA package. I'm trying to spread it around. What do you think about that? Oh, I think Lou is calling. Right. So apparently I got on four sharps so that way. Lou? No, it's late. I'm, I'm very timely today. Very timely. Good. How are you today? I realized I didn't respond or forward your email, but um, so next next week we're on for Monday, right? I just told John. Yep. Yeah, we're all set over here, Lou. Yeah, that's, that's not a problem. Yep. I'll make sure I change that on my calendar as well so I have that. Awesome. How was your weekend? Yeah, it was a little windy. We uh, our, our power was knocked out both in the office and at home for a little bit. Yeah, how, how about yours? So basically, it was snowing and then there was ice. And it was one of those things, Lou, where we just didn't quite know like how messy it was going to be during rush hour. 
And, you know, I just didn't want that on my conscience, candidly. So, so I think it worked out well. Um, we're going to have, uh, you know, a fun couple of days here because uh, we're breaking, of course, in the office uh, for the next couple of days. But then we're heading down to the uh, Valley Forge Convention Center, Convention Center baseball card show uh, this weekend from Friday to Sunday. We're going to be breaking live from there. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Yep, road work for J5 and V8 will be there as well. And we just announced uh, yesterday... Um, it'll be another athlete to add to our portfolio. We're going to be opening up a few packs with Dale Murphy on Sunday morning. Yeah, I'm excited. Really? You know, it's funny. I was talking with uh, uh, my marketing company, and, and, you know, it's all about, hey, you know, like how many people follow Dale Murphy? And, you know, he was saying Dale Murphy is quite the following, uh, you know, on social media. There's, there's a lot of Dale Murphy guys, or, you know, folks out there that – that still follow him and like him. So, you know, I'm excited for Sunday morning. I've heard he's a great guy and we're going to open up a few 1977 Topps baseball packs. And if we have time and it permits, uh, I'm going to try to open up a 2019 Topps baseball pack, see if there's any thoughts on today's players. Yeah, it should be fun. Absolutely. Um, so this is something that, uh, you know, we'll cover on the show, but we listed this today and um, this sold out. So we're going to open this tomorrow night. And we're hoping to recreate the magic of the last 55 Bowman pack that we had, uh, which the last one was the cello pack. But we had this wax pack we got in, so we uh, we listed that, and that sold out pretty quickly. So we're going to open that tomorrow night. Um, oh, you know what I have for you, Lutz? So check this out, bud. We don't have to save this all for the PSA show. So I picked this up for you, a little gift. So remember, I told you that Clements had that really cool card from the top set, and the Desert Shield set, all it is, Lou, is that they have the insignia right there. And to me, this is one of the better looking cards, whether it be your Clemens fan or not. Yep. Well, it's on the house, so we're going to send it out to you. Yeah, no, it's a really cool card. It's definitely one of the more desirable cards, like from the Desert Shield set. And you know, listen, it ain't worth a few bucks, but it doesn't, you know, it doesn't break the bank. So we'll send you the bill too. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's what I do with Mike. Like Mike gets on, he makes it seem as ah, wait, and I found some great stuff to give away. Mike, it doesn't matter to me. It's out of your box. So I just deducted. It's not a big deal. <laughs> so I thought you would enjoy that. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it is. It's. Uh, I think the Desert Shield is... Thanks, uh, John. I think the, the Desert Shield set's picking up some steam. You know, I don't think because we're talking about it. I just think that it's a very desirable set. Uh, ironically, J5 just talked to a lead. Um, and I think, you know, fingers crossed, we're getting into a fresh set. From someone that served and is also uh, state police right now, John? Is that the deal? Mm -hmm. That's cool. Mm hmm yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely. No, nah, you, you could tell because clearly, as you said, like most of them are, hey, like wherever you're standing, drop your stuff, hold the bat, and like there's the photo. Um, so what do you think about this, Lou? We've had, uh, now listen, we appreciate everyone watching, but we want to try to spread the wealth. So first, in regards to giving out PSA packages, I have finally streamlined it with PSA, meaning uh, there's no more waiting. I, I, I simply forward the information uh, to them after, um, you know, after the person wins, and then that person gets registered for their, uh, for their free membership. So that's great. Yep, except we've had a few people that have, it seems like they have very good luck. And so whether it be they have, you know, a backdoor into the, uh, you know, the randomizer program, which I don't think so. But then again, right, like I didn't, I didn't check out the Russians yet, so it could be them. You know, I don't know. Um, but, but, you know, <laughs> I thought you'd like that. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, other than that, what I think we're going to do for the PSA show today, Lou, is we're going to do our, um, you know, I'm going to mention uh, Victoria is going to be helping us keep track of the names trying to, you know, have engagement, have some fun with it. Um, we're going to give away a PSA membership. But what we're going to do, Lou, is if you've won before, it's not that you can't win anything again, but we'd like to spread the wealth and we'd like to have someone else win the PSA membership. So if someone comes up, <clears throat> Joe A., who's already won twice, I think, um, we're going to uh, give you a $25 break credit. And then the person whose name is next on the list will get the PSA membership. I want to see what you thought about that. Yeah, I just want to spread the wealth. That's all. Great. Well, we're going to run with that. Um, 
So, Victoria, if you want to come on over here real quick, so that way you know what the prizes are. Uh, excuse me, I had... Uh, this is my little stack. Thank you very much. All right. And throw me one second. All right. So this is what we're going to do, Victoria, for today for the PSA show, which I'll start in a few minutes and tell them again. Okay. But we're going to give away the PSA membership, and then we're going to give away these four packs. Okay? Mm-hmm. Can I take a picture? Yeah, of course. Okay. Absolutely. Hey, John. Or Sam, can you grab me another 83 rack from the floor there? Yep. Uh, this one has some chipping on the side. Thanks. Spare one second and grab another rack. Okay. Uh, let's see. So Eric B. is a big fan of the show. Um, uh, let's see. Jim was here before. Yes, we're on YouTube. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't start PSA yet. Um, yeah, thanks, William. Appreciate it. Okay, great. So this is the deal, uh, Victoria. We're going to have five prizes okay. um, in our participate in the chat, mm -hmm. right? And they get their name on the list. Um, and only one, you know, entry per per name. Mm -hmm. um, and so we have five prizes, the PSA package, you know, the one-year membership, and then these four packs. So it'll be one, two, three, four. And I'll show them off in the show. Mm -hmm. um, the other one's the fifth prize. But if Joe A, and I forgot the other individual who won, it might have been Jim Lammers. Uh, if they end up appearing number one, we're simply going to give them a $25 break credit. The person who's number two will get the PSA package. Okay. And then you'll go down the list from there. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Cool. Sounds good. What's up, Ian? Thanks for joining us, Ted, Andy. So, John, when uh, the PSA show comes up in a minute, can you pull up? Oh, you have the Facebook page here? I just want to make sure we have the chat going. That's right. Awesome. Sounds good. So, what's going on with uh, Tom and Rico these days? You're still broadcasting while they're in Florida, right? I can imagine. The, um, the Jimmy Fund, uh, is it going to be an auction held during the show next week, or how is it going to work? Great. Great. Oh, so Tom and Rico must be having a blast, plus they're doing something great for, you know, for society and charity, so that's wonderful. No, listen, absolutely. Uh, I hope so as well. Uh, please do me a favor, uh, you know, Lou, and obviously uh, I'll drop a text to Tom. Um, hey, what's up, Sean? Thanks for joining us, bud. Hope all is well down there in South Jersey. Um, so uh, what I'd like to do for you guys is I'd like to put your link to your auctions in all of our communications for the week. Because, you know, people for us, they're already bidding on eBay, Lou. So, you know, we might be able to support the cause just by sending over some traffic. Yep, absolutely. That'd be great. Awesome. Thanks, Sean. Hey, thanks for joining us, Nick. Yeah, no, I think it'll be useful. Uh, you know, I know there's an item I specifically want myself, <clears throat> Nolan Ryan sign rookie. Because, uh, I, I mean, I know the provenance, right? Like, I'm not going to have a better – I'm not saying there's not other Nolan Ryan sign rookies out there, but I certainly have my eye on that, and I'm going to see what else is uh, – you know, maybe I can win something and give it out through vintage breaks or something. That'll be fun. Oh, uh, I love your guys' relationship. It's fantastic. <laughs> I was going to say, see, the problem's going to be he doesn't understand. He's driving you away from the shirt. Now you're going to subliminally, like, you know, I thought I packed it. It's not worth double checking. I guess I have it. <laughs> yeah, it's like a whole thing, Tom. We should talk about it over martinis, though. <laughs> It'll be a lot easier. <laughs> Oh, goodness. So um, we're going to get started here in just a few minutes on the uh, PSA show. Thanks for everyone joining us. Um, Sean, uh, Thomas, Nick, Charles G. Hey, Charles. 
Um, thanks for everyone hanging out today. Um, we love having you here, but to be clear, I want to reiterate, if you want to have a chance to win something, you don't have to buy anything at all. We do appreciate business very much, but you don't have to buy anything at all during this hour if you don't like, um, and you still have a chance to win some great stuff during the PSA Vintage Break Show, including a PSA one-year Collectors Club membership, and I'm going to give a little shout-out to Ryan, um, who's in charge of, uh, I think you deal with Ryan, right, Lou? Uh, is it Ryan G. from PSA? He deals with their social media. Yeah, you know, he helped me hook this up. So that we can give out, um, you know, memberships to folks and, you know, hopefully have it be fairly seamless after they win. Hey, you know, no one's perfect. Yeah. Yeah, it seems it seems like you do. Yeah, no, listen, Johnny Five, I tell you, one of the best things that we've done recently, um, we've been getting a lot of leads, knock on wood, Lou, we're very fortunate for that. You know, business is good for just collecting vintage breaks. Um, but we've been so overwhelmed that we really had to step into like the next, you know, age of technology. And um, we uh, now use salesforce.com to keep track of all of our leads. We signed a contract with them for a year. And uh, you know, I'm looking forward to getting that app on my phone. Um, it's, I mean, Johnny Five has been a, cl a lead closing machine recently. It's been great. Yeah, but we're here today. It's not, uh, you know, it's not snowing. And thanks again for helping us with that, Lou. I appreciate that. Absolutely. So Bill uh, is asking a great question here. You can find our break calendar at vintagebreaks.com, and it's just right there. They can yes. click on that. If awesome. You click on your, uh, break yeah, if you could, uh, if you want to write that in the chat, uh, Victoria, that'd be great. <clears throat> All right, Lou, let me know. I think we're probably close to, to starting time, right? Okay, great. Right. Yeah, it's about 40 seconds, you said. Oh. And then you're going to help me pull it up, right? Yeah. Awesome. J5, Lou said hi. Hey, what's up, Lou? Bill, he looks sharp, right? I think he should come like that every day to work, but we don't require suits. <laughs> you know, and I don't blame him. I mean, you know, not only is it expensive to dress in a suit every day, we got to dry clean it and then, you know... In the summer, it's probably not so comfortable, um, but, uh, you know, nonetheless. Um, all right, great. <laughs> Keep me on my toes, are you? Great. Welcome. This is Leighton Sheldon, your host of the Vintage Breaks PSA show. Thanks for joining us. We're here every Wednesday at 4.30 p.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time. Next week, uh, Lou is going to be on the road for a certainly worthy cause, which we're going to talk about in just a few minutes, um, helping out with the Jimmy Fund auction and um, Rico and Tom's efforts for the Great American Collectible Show, um, spearheading, uh, raising, money, some, uh, raising some money for charity. Um, so thanks for that, Lou. We'll talk about that um, in just a minute. You looking forward to going to Florida? Great American Collectible Show. Um, here. Uh, uh huh. Uh, so it's funny. I'm itching to go to Florida myself because I know it's still going to be cold up here for a while. And there's a show. <coughs> thanks, uh, John. Um, there's a show. Uh, it's the third week of March, I believe. Um, run by fanatics, and it's the first time they're ever having it. And normally, you know, Lou, I like, I want to hear how it was. I want to see if it's worth my time. I said to Julie, I'm like, honey, what do you think about going to Florida? I didn't even finish the sentence. She's like, oh, it's, that sounds that sounds great. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready to get out of town. So, I mean, I know she's in. Meanwhile, I asked her later on that day. I said, are you going to plan to come to the convention with me? It'd be great to introduce you. She said, no, no. You know, they can find me on the beach. You know, I'll be there if they'd like to, to give me a shout out. Sure. <coughs> oh, Lou. I did. Very smart, beautiful woman. Um, Jules, love you. I took our son, uh, Crosby, to CHOP the other day for uh, some checkups. And I'll tell you, he's, uh, you know, he's doing great. He's very smart. Um, he's uh, asking questions now about, about HI. And, um, you know, it's, it's interesting to see it all unfold. Yep, no, everything's going well. Appreciate you asking. Um, I, think it's, uh, I think it's Fort Lauderdale, Eric B. I think so. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so I want to make sure that, uh, for the folks who just joined us, we're about uh, well, a couple dozen folks watching on the PSA show. And of course we have some of our regulars watching on our youtube.com slash vintage breaks channel. And we appreciate that. But for the hour today, um, if you'd like to have a chance to win something completely for free, excuse me, 
um, you have to do so by participating on the PSA Facebook page. And you can find us there at facebook.com slash PSA card. And all we ask is that you leave uh, something in the comments uh, related to the show or collecting and really just try to engage. Chat with us. We're not going to bite. Well, maybe, but after hours. Um, and uh, <laughs> so I try to keep it straight, but I couldn't. Um, you know, I'm recording. I'm going to go on tour soon. So I got to try like some of my new material. Um, uh, I, I just saw... I just saw the Seinfeld episode the other day. It was on in the background, and it was something about, I think Jerry got free tickets to go to, like, one of the award shows, and he wrote a few jokes for the theater, and George says, Jerry, why didn't you ask me? I know a million great theater jokes. And some one of the jokes is like, what about, you know, those guys up front, like, before the stage? And Jerry's like, that's the orchestra. George is like, yeah, what's the deal with them? And Jerry's like, it's not a joke. It's an observation. It was awesome. Oh, my God. It kills me even all these years later. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, obviously. It was great. Um, thanks, Jonathan. Appreciate it. No, listen. He's the love of my life. I, I tell him that every day now. He's even more conscious, Crosby. So, um, anyway, getting back to the prizes for today. Appreciate everyone joining us. Um, we're going to give away five prizes today. Uh, and one of them, the main prize, is going to be a PSA one-year Gold Collectors Club membership. Uh, courtesy of Vintage Breaks and Just Collect, uh, paid for in, uh, in full completely. And what's really cool is we've hooked up with uh, mine and Lou's good buddy from PSA and the social media and marketing department, Ryan. Thanks very much for your help. Um, all we need to do now is uh, get the winner's information, simply their name, their full address, and their daytime phone number, along with their email. We forward it over to Ryan from PSA. Within a week or two, you're going to have your free T-shirt, your intro package, and you'll be off and running. And by the way, uh, this was great of Ryan to offer. If you already have a PSA membership, they've offered to actually extend your membership by one year if you win a membership from us. Yep, no, it's very cool. And the only asterisk is, just like Roger Maris has a little asterisk, um, so if you've won before, <coughs> Joe A, uh, or I think Jim L, um, uh, if you come up first on the randomizer, of course, we'd love for you to chat during our show today, um, but we'd like to spread the wealth. And so if you've won before the PSA package, we're going to um, bump down to the next person on the list. They'll actually get the PSA package, but you'll still walk away a winner and get a $25 break credit to vintagebreaks.com. And then these are the other four packs as part of the prizes for today. Once again, all you need to do is just participate in our chat, talk with us, or shout at us, really. It's up to you, but I can't hear you um, if you're going to be doing it uh, on chat. Um, and we appreciate you being here. Nice 1983 Tops rack pack. See if, oh, there we go. Your neck of the woods. You got a Jimmy Rice right in the middle. Very nice. Absolutely. <coughs> Absolutely. So, um, once again, appreciate everyone joining us. I got to tell you, this is a crazy thing happening to me today. So, we, uh, we listened to this pack this morning before I left the house. I didn't get a chance to send the Just Collect email yet. Um, and I was very much looking forward to my monumental haircut today. Um, and I didn't have a chance to send the Just Collect email before. So, I get an email or I get a text from someone all it says, <laughs> I, I hope not. That's why I'm not turning around, if you notice. Um, so um, I list the pack, and all that someone texts me, one individual writes 1955 Bowman. And I'm thinking, like, yeah, I listed a pack today. Thanks for letting me know what we listed. Um, and so then another uh, person, a good buddy of ours, Alex, uh, who we have his tobacco packs, which uh, come heck or high water. In uh, a few weeks, we're going to be opening live here in the PSA show, hopefully with Gary V. We've had some difficulty uh, hammering down a date, but we're still going to try um, to do that. Um, yeah, it would be great. Um, so anyway, kind of getting back to center. So I get a text from Alex that says the pack sold out and he missed out on getting in. And I'm like, oh my goodness, wait a minute. The 55 bone pack sold out? Now you got to realize, Lou, I'm putting together the time frame here. Like as if it's a case I'm, um, I'm, I'm a detective on. And I'm like, I, I got to make sure of myself. So before I write back to Alex, I kind of thought he was pulling my chain. I checked the site. It sold out. It sold out in 51 minutes from the point in which we sent out the email today. Yes, yeah, so we're really excited about this. Obviously, uh, you know, only time will tell what this mini time capsule from 1955 Bowman holds. We're going to be opening this tomorrow night, folks, 9 p.m. Eastern time right here on youtube.com slash vintage breaks little shout out to our good buddy rich miller from sports collectors daily that's where i check out my hobby news every day um we're going to be also duly streaming on his facebook channel for sports collectors daily trying to give as many people lou the chance to uh to watch this happen live um as we do not have another one i love to tell you we have 10 of them we don't we have one 
It's right here, and it's being open tomorrow night. Hey, what's up, Rudy? Um, so Rudy says hi from New Mexico. I uh, appreciate you uh, watching the show, tuning in. Um, very quick, funny story about Mexico. A little shout out to my old, old bosses. It's actually, uh, was it my, it was my last job. So it was my last job. I worked for someone about 12 or 15 years ago. Um, Josh and Hef from Leland's. Um, the reason why I bring up New Mexico. So, <coughs> excuse me, as I um, uh, grew up through the ranks at Leland's, I handled not just cards, Lou and everybody, but I handled um, some memorabilia and I loved it. You know, especially the, the stuff that hadn't seen the light of day before, Lou. So someone had, I believe, a Franco Harris jersey from New Mexico. And, excuse me, as we've seen, not everyone's willing to ship. This gentleman, you could have said to them, you know, listen, I'm going to send you on a personal... He wasn't shipping it. He said, you come to New Mexico, you want this jersey. I went to New Mexico for Leland's. I was there, I'm not, I'm not kidding, 75 minutes. I met, I, I met the guy... I mean, I met the guy, you know, I had New Mexico's finest, whatever what that was at the particular hotel, um, said peace and love, had a jersey, brought it back. So I, I'd like to get back to New Mexico for more than like a few hours. I heard it's beautiful. That's pretty cool. <laughs> you yeah, know, isn't that kind of wild? We all have those things and, you know, when you're looking at it... Um, uh, you know, you just never know what's going to become of it. But really, I can say I still look back at that trip with fond memories. We got a great piece. Um, and, uh, you know, I still talk to Josh and Hep. They're, uh, you know, they're fun to uh, keep in touch with. Um, so, ch <coughs> you know, it's funny. So I went to Memphis and I almost went to the last Nashville show, but I, I missed it. Uh, I've heard great things about it. I'm looking forward to checking it out. Um, Charles, thanks for joining us, but it was 650 a spot. Um, we do appreciate everyone leaving comments on the PSA Facebook page. Um, and uh, once again, if you are participating in the chat, you will have a chance at one of five great prizes. And Joe A, I appreciate you being a good sport. Joe A said he understands being blacklisted uh, from winning another PSA membership, but he appreciates that we're trying to spread the wealth. Uh, yeah, that's okay. You know, that was a show, by the way, I started watching Blacklist on, like, NBC, and then I stopped. I want to know, like, did anyone watch that show? I heard it's really good. That's what I heard. Lou, did you ever watch that show? Yeah, yeah. I watched some of it, and then what happened was we moved, and then, you know, I didn't stop working since, pretty much. <laughs> um, so, uh, one of the other things I want to announce before we open our first pack today is um, we're going to be at our good buddy, Joe Drellick and Hunt Auctions. They're running a convention this weekend at the Valley Forge uh, Convention Center in Pennsylvania. We're going to be there all weekend breaking. They have some great autograph guests, including Mr. Dale Murphy will be signing autographs. And we've been fortunate enough to work something out with his great agent, Need. We're going to be um, opening some packs with him on Sunday morning at the convention at 9 a.m., because Mr. Murphy has a bunch of stuff to do afterwards in terms of signing autographs and such and commitments. Um, and so we're going to be opening up some 1977 Topps baseball packs. We'll try to do what we did last time. We're going to offer one or two packs um, with a letter of authenticity uh, through the site, vintagebreaks.com, where if you'd like to participate in those breaks with Dale Murphy, you can. If not, um, welcome you to watch. And a little twist to this, Lou, um, I thought this was kind of fun to throw out there. Whoever comes down to the show this weekend, now once again, you, right? So not like 17 Cousins, not 23 friends, but you. You know, and to be fair, if you bring your son, I'd be happy to do that, pay for that as well. Um, but if you come down as a Vintage Breaks fan to the show this weekend and um, you, know, you you buy your, your way into the uh, show, I'll cover your admission. And uh, if you're really nice, I'll buy a hot dog. Um, yeah, listen, I'd be happy to. It's really fun, Lou, to meet our fans of the show. That's basically what I'm trying to say. So, yeah, no, listen, it's our, uh, our pleasure. Um, you know, what's great, uh, thanks, Corby. So um, I've heard from Corby and many other people that Dale Murphy, you know, is like their hands down their favorite player uh, of all time. And, uh, you know, if you look back, really, I don't know how he's not a Hall of Famer. I'm not discussing it with him if he doesn't want to discuss it. Um, but his stats look great. Yes. Excuse me. Yes, uh, they were. You're right. He kind of... He kind of hit his, you know, stride and left way before the Greg Maddox, you know, Braves days. Yep. Uh, very cool. So anyway, this is tomorrow night, 9 p.m. We'll be promoting that all day. 
Don't forget, we are running a promotion this week, all week, that concludes this Sunday, 2 o'clock. We're going to give this away, Lou. Really? You know, what I found is we're, we're, all, we're all a little bit partial to the ones that we collected when we were a kid. So in other words, we choose those three or four or, or you know, six different sets that we collected. And from that, we generally choose. Because I kind of feel like I have a favorite set that I collected when I was a kid. And then I have favorite cards that, you know, just because I know a lot about cards, that I really appreciate, you know, of all time, you know, let's say. That's very cool. Well, um, you know, I'm a big fan of the 68 set too. And if you are, you can have a chance to win this this Sunday at 2 o'clock. We'll be giving away. It's our Buy Any Spot promo. You can learn all the details you want. Check it out, event.vintagebreaks.com. It's where all of the good stuff is, um, all of the list of the prizes, um, all the details. And, of course, you can call us anytime in the office. Time Life operators are standing by, i.e. Johnny5 and V8. So they're here to help you anytime you need. Lastly, I want to show off this 52 mantle, and then we're going to get to opening some cool packs today. Oh, this is uh, fun. we got some new uh, first-time watchers here. Bob W. from Upstate New York. Appreciate you tuning in. Little shout-out to my mom's friend, Mary, who's from Upstate New York. Um, uh, her, uh, her son, David, and their family, they just sent me a baseball book like I'm 11 years old. Uh, meaning they didn't send it to me for Crosby. Um, they sent it to me for me. And I'm looking at this, like, Mom, what am I supposed to do with this? And my mom says it in her... Well, you know, she knows you love baseball. Uh-huh. There's a lot of books on baseball, Mom. In fact, if she's taking a, you know, uh, a survey, I'll tell you which books I'd like. Um, and so I'm basically going to read it to, I'm gonna read it to Crosby and pretend it was for him. Uh, you know, it's really tough. It's really tough to say. Um, you know, listen, I, I like the cards that mean something to me. Um, and, you know, generally from the collections that we buy, I try to keep a card or two. Um, I'm very partial to the 33 Gaudi Sport King set. And the reason being is um, you not just have, you know, the Ruths, right, and the Cobbs, but I really think it depicts a lot of what was going on in the country, meaning there's a Jack Dempsey in there. There's a Gene Tunney. There's jockeys in there. You know, the sports world was very much all over the place. Certainly it's all over the place today. But it's crazy to think how all over the place it was in 1933 when there was no TV, there's no social media, there's no email, and yet, you know, people cared about dog sledding. And there's a dog, or yeah, there's a dog sledder with a card in that set. That's that's why I love that set. Yeah. I don't know. I got to look. Um, so uh, I did want to mention this 52 mantle. This is in a graded hit random that we're currently running at VintageBreaks.com. We just listed it yesterday. Uh, we sold out about half of it in one day. It's 90 graded cards. I think there's about 40 or so left. The big one, the big hit here, Lou, is the Mickey Mantle PSA 1. But as you can see, it's a pretty decent looking one. Absolutely. Yeah. This is what I would call well-loved. Nothing wrong with it. But this is what's so crazy about grading. And I think what's so great about baseball cards. You're telling me this is a 1 out of 10 and I can see his name clearly. Right, and if I show this to someone, this wasn't. I show this to a person cut my hair today at, at um, you know at two o'clock, and I showed her on the phone. And I said, "Caitlin, you recognize?" I said, oh, I know that card. I said, you have one?" No, shouldn't have one. But it's on a double check. Um, yes, I I agree with you. Um, you know, listen, if I had the money, I would have loved to buy Evans PSA nine. Um, I won't at least in this lifetime. So uh, I like that one. It's a nice card. Um, Excuse me. Well, I appreciate you saying that, Lou, and we appreciate everyone uh, joining us. You know, I um, just saw a couple of the comments here. Someone had mentioned, I think it was uh, our good buddy Chef. Um, Ted said that his first or his, one of his favorite sets is 52 Bowman. And what I find interesting about 1952 Bowman is it's one of the very few sets in the last, let's say, 20 years that I've been able to buy fresh cards from that year, grade them, and I've actually got PSA 9s back on them. And, you know, I'm not sure if it was the way they were distributed, if there was a find of, you know, penny or nickel packs. Um, but I actually remember the last 52 Bowman find I had, 
might have been about 11 years ago, just when I started uh, Just Collect, and it was it was um, just over the border, north of the border. And, uh, you know, folks had like 100, 150 cards. Looked like they came out of pack yesterday. It was amazing. Thanks for joining us, Mark. Appreciate it. We're going to be uh, broadcasting today. We'll be breaking until about between 8 and 9, roughly. Uh, tomorrow night's our late night, and, of course, we have our big break festival happening all this weekend. Oh, let's... Uh, Oh, I, I wish. Oh, my goodness. That would be great if I had told Julie, listen, last minute, Tom can't do it, or they need an extra person, right? Lou's begging me to come. I got to go. I just got to go. Meanwhile, I sent her um, uh, something the next day, like drinking on the beach heavily. Oh, that was a 10 on the road. Yes, 10. Yeah, exactly. Listen, Leighton, Rico's kind of uh, heavy. I'm not sure I can carry him and Tom. <laughs> All right, we're going to randomize the list 10 times. Lou and everybody else, we're about to open this 1975 Topps mini baseball pack. Good luck to Eric, DJ. Hope all is well, bud. Tom, Eric again. John, looks like Eric, you grabbed you grab several spots. Thank you. Henry and DJ again. All right. Hey, Adam, thanks for joining us. Okay, 10-card pack. Spot one will be right underneath the gum. Well, you certainly recognize the guy on bottom there, but we'll flip it because that's not the first card. The Dwight Evans is right. Oof. I'm not even going to touch this, Lou. That is, you know, that's a specimen that if Mike wants to archive, he'll have to do that on his own time. That is just vile. Yeah, exactly. You know what's funny, Lou? That's exactly what I was thinking. I'm going to simply quarantine this. I'm going to put this over in the GTG pile, the Guess That Gun pile, and it can't be farther enough away from me. All right. Good luck, everybody. Okay. I highly recommend the convention this weekend uh, as a casual collector, as a serious collector, meaning there's tons of ungraded to buy. There's tons of graded to buy. Hopefully, there's not a ton of unopened to buy. If there is, I'll be buying it. I'll try. Um, and, uh, you know, we have a great time there. They have autograph guests that are free. Excuse me. They have, hopefully, I didn't nick that. Uh, you know what? I believe that I did. And I think that's the second time recently I did that. Straight to heck and back for me. Um, DJ Venom, the card's still fine, but I can see it. Uh, I'm going to give you a refund for spot two, uh, seeing as how uh, I'm careless, apparently. I apologize. Okay. You know, there's a few cards. I happen to like the Brett Rookie. I like that um, purple and the and the green. But, like, to me, yeah, this is really ugly. Like, orange and brown? Yeah, if you were, you know, dressed in Pumas, like, maybe. But, you know, like, that oversized glove with the X. Like, this is the ugliest baseball card I've ever seen. Yeah, Lou, we're lucky we see the face, right? I mean, come on. As you commented on this gorgeous Clemens, and that's what made this so special. Like, the fact that we got a shot like that, that Clemens cared enough to work with the photographer to give an image like that to Tops is pretty cool. Exactly. This is a nice card. So this is a leader's card. We've talked about leader's cards. Uh, I don't know if they're necessarily undervalued, but they don't cost as much as the base cards. For some of these players in high grade, and like, check this beauty out. Now, I know Ralph Gar is not a Hall of Famer, but he was a great ball player for Atlanta. This is a gorgeous card, Lou. Got a, maybe a chance at a 9. I have to check the center left to right. But um, nowhere, uh, or at least not yet, until I handle it. Um, that's spot 3. <coughs> Excuse me. Spot 4. I almost thought it said Tony Sausalita, but I realized it says Tony Salacia? I'm not <laughs> really sure. But this is a nice card. So check this out, folks, what makes a nice card. Eric, this is yours. We're happy to grade it on the house for you. Fairly well-centered, top to bottom, maybe a smidgy off top, but it still looks really nice. And then left to right, I mean, this thing looks dead nuts. This is absolutely a candidate for grading. We'll grade that for you on the house, Eric. Yeah, Lou, do you think I could put you in a 75 top set today? <laughs> uh, okay, grade on the house. This is for Eric. All right, there we go. Spot five, Joe Rudy. Certainly know who he is. He unfortunately is a little off-centered. But see, how interesting is this, right? Lou, we're just talking color schemes for a minute. Who thought it was a good idea to take the yellow and green and match it with the yellow and green of the athletics? I mean, it's brutal. 
Brutal. Yeah, brutal. Oh, Jackie Brown, which is an interesting movie, but uh, this unfortunately is a miscut Jackie Brown, former Ranger. Sorry about that, Eric, but uh, that's the way it goes sometimes. Oh, here we go. Oh, I thought it said, um, oh, another um, miscut card. I thought it said Fergie, and it did. It says Joe Ferguson. <laughs> Miscut, unfortunately, that is yours, Eric. Back-to-back -back miscuts. Thankfully, the one before that was a nice card. Here we go. Here we go. Henry Jones. It's a nice, sparky Lyle. Yeah, see, I, I think this is cool when they look like this. Nice card. Maybe a smidge off center top to bottom. Mm-hmm. I was bidding in my good buddy uh, Mark Chuteau's classic auctions uh, last night. And, you know, he has baseball cards, hockey memorabilia. And, you know, I've had this, like, I want to start buying, like, Rangers and Knicks stuff, you know, just to kind of hang on to, you know, New York area teams. But, you know, like the old jerseys and such, Lou. And they had a 51 um, Rangers hockey jersey from, like, not necessarily the best player. So, like, the next bid's, like, seven grand, you know, and I'm trying to rationalize, well, like, you know, it's probably worth more. I wonder if this is worth waking up Julie for. <laughs> Needless to say, I didn't I didn't bid on that. I, I stuck to the cards. It was a smart move. Yeah, it was very wise. Oh, very much. Listen, Lou, I couldn't have said any better. I actually think, um, aside from that hockey is a great sport, I think that's why hockey... Um, Listen, I think that why that's why hockey um, memorabilia and cards have really uh, appreciated, not just in recent years, but over time. Because it has so much history. And with the history, you have a lot more people watching. And listen, as great as the NFL is, like the first Super Bowl was what, in the 60s? So, um, and even organized football before that just didn't, wasn't around that 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 uh, much longer before that. Uh, yep, absolutely. Uh, Adam, the card show coming up this weekend is phillyshow.com. You can check them out. Our good buddy Joe Drellick and the Hunt Auction teams, Hunt Auctions team run that show. Um, it's going to be a great little convention. It's back at the casino, which of course... Uh, as we all know, makes it a lot easier to go to sleep at night, go up the elevator, down to the convention, stop at the casino. I mean, it's really, I tell you, I have a smile on my face. Julie says to me, I really feel terrible for you. You have to go away this weekend uh, to the conventions. Yeah, it's going to be terrible. I said, first night, we're going to go out to steak. Where did we go last time, guys, to um, um, Capitol Grill? Yes. Yeah, it was fantastic. It was really yeah, good. It's really like a terrible dinner. Terrible. Yeah, the worst. Yeah, I'm doing it for you. <laughs> You know, if you want, I'll call Crosby from dinner to let you know I'm thinking of him. Um, okay. Uh, Charles. <laughs> hey, Paul. Thanks for joining in, but I appreciate it. Um, uh, this was, excuse me, Charles B. was asking, is this mantle for sale? So it's for sale on a graded hit random that we have at VintageBreaks.com. You can find it. We started with 90 spots yesterday. We have about 40 spots left. It's $200 a spot. And after it is sold out, every single person in that break will get a graded card, including someone will walk away with this 1952 Tops Mickey Mantle PSA 1 for the cost of $200. That's a pretty good deal, considering it sells for about nine grand. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, all right, so what do we got in the docket, uh, J5? Any more personals? Uh, no. Yes. 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 So it does depend on the eye appeal, Lou. Um, I would say that, you know, roughly, roughly speaking, you're talking about, you know, 13, 5, 14 to, let's say, 16,000. But if it was dead nut centered with John's dead nut centered sticker of approval, um, I think, you know, you could be talking 15 to 18 for a slightly centered, you know, better centered version. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. I like it. Um, okay, no problem. 1988 Ophichi Hockey Pack, personal coming up. And then we get a chance, John, if you can... Uh... Well, V8 doesn't know it yet, but we're going to be talking this weekend about one of the new responsibilities we'd like her to take on, and one of them is going to be merchandising for us. Okay. Because we're a little bit lacking with that. And I feel like, you know, you'll spread the word socially. Uh, we also just need someone to be in charge of it. Okay. And I'm uh, looking forward to chatting about it. Of course, over steak. Oh, yeah. Yep. Can't By the way, I hope you're paying attention, but Lou gave you the first prompt, and if not, you'll have to go back and watch the show. <laughs> oh, I know, yeah. You can't, she can't hear you, Lou, but it's all right. Well, we'll make sure we educate her. Um, 
Yeah, something. We'll, we'll, we'll get you something. Um, this is pack number 59. Oh, there. Sorry about that. Okay. Let's update that. We got a personal pack coming up. Uh, type in there. Just click here. And type in there. Oh, okay. Can okay, sure. Yep, there you go. Okay. You got it. Okay, we have a 1988 Opeachy Hockey Pack personal pack coming up for Ken M. Possible Brett Hull rookie, as well as I think Brendan Shanahan's rookie is possible. Okay, good luck to everybody. J5, when you get a chance, if you call pull back up the uh, Facebook chat. Just, uh, yeah, I know. Thanks. So, Lou, I bought a lot of cards in 88 growing up, you know, from the store. And I can tell you definitively, not only did I never have Opeachy uh, hockey to buy, I never remembered seeing 88 Tops hockey, you know, in my stores. Hockey was always much tougher to find um, locally for me in the Northeast than, than any of the other sports. Hockey cards, yeah. I think it's a little different, you know? All right. Let's see. Yeah, I, I love those kinds of uh, memories. So for you, that was it. It was the 1970 championship. You know, that's a great question to post to everyone out there, uh, you know, Lou, especially those sports fans, is, you know, what, right? So it doesn't have to be their latest championship, but, you know, what, whether it be championship or what game do you most remember, you know, being most influential on whether it be your childhood, your adulthood? Um, and so, for example, for me, um, you know, I was a diehard, still I'm a diehard, but obviously it's different. You know, you have a job, you have kids, you're married, things happen, but I still love the Yankees and it's a lot of fun to watch baseball. Um, by the way, we're getting some nice center cards uh, out of this pack uh, here, Ken. Um, and uh, when I was in uh, school, uh, I was at Rutgers College in 96 as a freshman, uh, 95 or 96, excuse me. And um, uh, the Yankees um, were pretty terrible throughout my childhood. Um, and then sophomore year of college, the Yanks were in the World Series. And I rode on three or four different dorm rooms, like the washboard that was on the, uh, the outside of everyone's dorm room trying to buy tickets because there was no StubHub, right? There was no Facebook. There was no, like there was the internet, but it didn't work like that for tickets yet. And you can call brokers, but you know, the brokers were like, yeah, it's 9.50. I'm like, 9.50? I can't go to school anymore if I, if I buy this ticket. You understand, you understand that, sir, right? Like, yeah, like, I guess I can take off. I, I can lie to my parents and, you know, who knows? Uh, you know, so, you know, because I was financing uh, school and such. And so um, basically, long story short, I got precisely one call. It was from, shout out to my friend Nicole A. from college. Hope all is well with you and your family. So uh, I get a call. She says she has a friend down the hall from her that has one bleacher seat. So long story short, Lou, not only did people embrace themselves. I was, by the way, I was at game six. This was game six. I forgot to mention that. Yanks came, Yanks came back. Uh, it's game six. So the Yanks win it. And I have my bleacher seat. We showed it off on the, on the show before. Uh, it was pretty wild. Yeah, it was. But yeah, those are, you know, like the Yankees have won the thing about it. The Yankees have won how many World Series since then? A bunch. And yet, that's the one every single time that I come back to. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Uh, yeah. That's funny. So in poker, because I play a fair amount of, or I used to play a fair amount of poker. Yeah, I would say I have the nuts or D nuts. So it's, yeah, very similar. I certainly can see that. Um, uh, yeah, I miss poker days. Um, and as much as I love going down to the show this weekend, that's the one thing they don't have at the casino. They don't have poker. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know. I something about just the way the mind works, and for me, there's like I don't think about anything else other than the poker in front of me, maybe the drink that's to my right, and my sandwich I just ordered. Um, and you know, it's a good way to zone out. Absolutely. Exactly. Um, okay, we're going to randomize the list nine times. We're about to open up a 1980 Tops basketball pack. This is one of our favorite sellers. Um, I believe uh, just the other day, shout out to our friends at Heritage, Derek Lee and the gang, um, a PSA 10 Magic Bird rookie just sold for over $100,000. Excuse me, $100,000 at auction. Yeah, it's pretty wild what's happening with the 80s cards right now, you know, especially the ones that are more difficult to get in high grade. Oh, so this is interesting. Lou, do you have the same recollection as Jim? So, you know, Jim is our good buddy from the Massachusetts area, and he was saying um, for him it's the last Red Sox game of 67. He was saying three teams could win the pennant on the last day of the season. Wow. Rico? Does he have the ball? Oh. Oh, man. Well, that could have changed everything. That's cool. You know, I'm, uh, Lou, I want to take a minute here to recognize um, the interaction's been great. I'm really, uh, you know, I'm flabbergasted. This is wonderful. You know, a lot of folks uh, participating in the chat today. Once again, um, just by participating in our PSA Vintage Break Show chat today, you're going to have a chance to win a one-year membership to PSA. It's their Gold Collectors Club. I think it's 149 bucks on the site. You get a free T-shirt. You get free grading. You have access to submit cards for a year. Um, it's a bunch of good stuff. Um, and uh, for whatever it's worth, PSA will be accepting submissions at the Valley Forge Convention Center this weekend. So for those folks out there who don't like to ship stuff or want to save a few bucks, show up at the convention, have me buy your admission as a fan of Vintage Breaks. Um, come find us. We'll have a booth there. And uh, I like that. I got to tell you, Lou, I might, uh, I'm going to, you know, I forgot exactly like what I put in the name of your company, like for profile, because before I get to know people, I usually put something there. So I remember, I think I'm now going to edit yours because obviously I know you pretty well now. I'm going to say, call if I have an interesting one-day job. <laughs> um, that's cool. Well, thank That's kind of cool. Hey, listen, I tell you, it certainly makes life more interesting. That's for sure. Thanks for joining, Brandon. We appreciate it. You know, I haven't heard of too many big shows in Oklahoma. I did just try to get to the Tennessee one. Um, I missed it, but I know they have it a couple times a year, so I'm going to try to get back there. Um, I think the most fun about going to the conventions is meeting, you know, collectors from all over the country. Eric, the uh, drawing will be in the last minute or two of the show. V8 is keeping track of the list of names, and about 525 or so, we firm up that list, and we do the randomization right in front of everyone, and there will be five uh, prizes we're giving away today. Okay, good luck to Dom and Eric, 1980 Tops Basketball Pack, number 77. Yeah, I think so. All right, so um, first card coming here, and then of course uh, we will uh, give away the poster. Magic Bird, the Magic Johnson Larry Bird rookie. Yep, okay, so we'll turn it over because that's the first card. And we will just simply wrap up that gum for Mike's Files. You know, after all this time, I've still never been to Maine after all these years, and I've almost gone several times. I'd really like to make it up there. Yeah, I've heard it is. Uh, okay, so you got a little gum situation that affected the Bill Walton here. Wow, that's actually cool. I think this is three Hall of Famers. Ball, Bill Walton, Bob Lanier, and George McGinnis. I think they're uh, all Hall of Famers. I was underbidder on a pair of Bob Lanier game you shoes not, not that long ago. And I just bid on them because they look cool. That was it. I wasn't going to wear them. I don't think they would have fit. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I collect vintage basketball.
amongst many other things. Apparently too many baseball cards as well. Uh, this is a nice card. So as I've said before, I believe this set is undervalued. I would definitely grade this uh, card, Eric. This seems to be quote-unquote dead nuts. So we'll tag that for you. Be happy to grade it on the house. Looks really nice. Card three. So the balance of the pack is yours, Eric. I think my buddy, uh, Rich Albersheim, who runs albersheims.com, sold Schwen Nader's collection. Yeah. And the thing is, like, he had some trophies from college, and he was maybe on a championship team. I thought the same thing, but the thing is, Lou, this is what's so interesting about vintage basketball, and to a certain extent, vintage hockey. Folks uh, collect based on style. So no disrespect to Schwen. Um, but, uh, if he was on, let's say a popular ABA team in the seventies that, you know, his Jersey might just be popular because of that. Oh, very cool. <laughs> great, Heather. Well, we're looking forward to seeing you at the national. It's going to be great. So I'm not, yeah, uh, I love saying it. It's great. Um, so David McCann, I think this is on our Facebook feed, Lou, so I wanted to make sure I share this with you. He said, Lou, do you remember the Bruins game against, I can't see this part, where O'Reilly went over the glass after a fan? Really? I mean, you know, in, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty wild. Dr. J spot five. Oh my God. I'm going to have to Google that after this uh, little look it up on YouTube. Um, Jim B. Thanks for joining us, Bob. You can check it out at vintagebreaks.com. That's how you buy into breaks. I'm sorry. Say that again, Lou. Really? Now, did you ever get back into coaching again? Oh, that's a shame. I think it looks a lot harder than, than people give it credit for. Yeah. Julie's like, oh, you're going to be coaching Crosby's, all of his teams? I said, first of all, what the heck do I know about coaching? You know, I mean, I know a lot about sports, and I, you know, I'm a decent athlete, but, like, I, I don't know. I'm not sure I'm the best guy for the job. Yeah, Little League, Little League is different. Yeah, Little League is different. Yeah, exactly. Great, that concludes pack number 77, J5. We do have to give away the um, insert. Goes to spot one. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, it sold for, I forgot who it was graded by. Um, it was graded mint condition. Um, let me get it. Thank you. Um, it sold for like 401,000, and it, you know, it's numbered to 100. Um, and apparently it belonged to Evan Mathis. Um, and, uh, I mean, no disrespect to Mr. Brady. I'm sure he uh, is worthy of that money for 400000 Forget about something different outside of the industry. I would buy so much other stuff before I would buy a Tom Brady rookie. But then again, that's what makes the world go round. It's great. So, I don't know. Um, let me... Oh, that's what I wanted to do. We're going to do, um, yeah, I'd like to get up there. I really would. Uh, I almost went up there a couple times for a concert or two, and then a vacation getaway, and that got canceled. Uh, you know, one of these days I will get up there. Um, oh, wow. So how long does it take you to get up there, Lou? Yeah. 
Oh, that's that's pretty cool. So, like, do you ever decide, like, you know, hey, I'm going up there for lunch today, or I'm going to go up there for dinner? That's cool. Hey, what's up, Kev? Thanks for joining us. Uh, so we have uh, a Bill Walton 1986 Fleer uh, PSA 8. Uh, as many of you know, I'm working on the signed version of this set. I've stalled recently, so if any of you out there have any extras from your 86 Fleer um, basketball signed set, happy to swap, happy to trade, buy them from you, try to win them from you. I don't know. You can flip them. Um, so I want to give this away today on the show. Uh, now, Lou, um, uh, I don't quite remember, but it'll be easy enough for us to Google. We're going to give this away to the first person on the PSA Facebook show who simply tells us the year the Celtics last won the NBA title. First person. And Lou, if you could let me know when the uh, first person nails that, they'll get the Bill Walton on the house. Hall of Famer. All right. So I definitely know it was not 76. I'm going to say it's about 09, but I don't remember exactly. I mean, I remember watching it. So. Well, we have all the, uh, the names here. We'll, uh, we'll go get it for you. Last. Celtics. Survey says 2008. 2008. All right. How do I get back to J5? How do, oh, here we go. All right. So let's go back to the screen. It's got a bunch of answers. So the first 08 that you see, Lou, or that I see, is Dan O. Okay. All right, Dan O, you got it, bud? 2008. That is yours. J5, any other interesting uh, personal packs? Um, nothing more. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, this is great. So we're gonna, uh, we're going to finish up the show strong today, Lou. We got a 1973 Topps Baseball 5th Series or High Series pack, as it's known. Possible Mike Schmidt rookie. It almost looks like it's my dad, right? Like talking to, you know, someone else's dad. It doesn't really look like ball players. Yeah. I don't know. They, they could have done a better job, that's for sure. All right, so I'm going to have to get out my tools. I love this part of the program. While I'm waiting for J5, um, what do I do with... Yep, make sure Victoria take cover. Um, Victoria, do you have that winner take all, or does Sam have that winner take all? Uh, Sam has. You can grab that so I can show everyone when you're done. It's not what you see on your screen, folks. It's what we see on our screen. That's what I always tell people. So unfortunately, the way that information gets uh, translated on the internet, Lou, it's not the same on every screen. So I will double check. But I see the first 08 as Dano. Right here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, there'll certainly be other opportunities, that's for sure. Well, we, we appreciate that. It's been a lot of fun today. Of course, we have the big giveaway coming up in just a few minutes. We'll be giving away a one-year PSA Gold Club Collectors membership um, free of charge. All you have to do is comment, participate at least one time during the chat today. We'll take your name. We'll put it into the randomizer, and you'll have a chance to win that and one of other four prizes or five prizes total we'll be giving away at the end of the hour. Yeah, Russ is great. He sends me ideas all the time. So, uh, okay, so randomize Alicia. Uh, you want to break it first? Or? No. Get ready to set up. Right. Nine times. I'm going to get on my goggles. I'm going to start getting to work. J5, you're wearing your glasses, right? Yep. I can go to work here. Mm -hmm. Oh, so don't forget, we are running a $10 winner take all that started actually at 4 o'clock today. So that's when we went live. 
It was the first 100 entries. We'll check out the progress of that after the PSA Vintage Break Show is over today at 5.30. It'll be going live for several afters that, several hours after that tonight. Opening packs with you all from, I don't know, probably stop between 8 and 9 tonight. Wow, that was shrapnel, Lou. You know, the other day I was in my uh, my office, and I, I break some packs sometimes. Wow, Stuart, you right? You know, this is pretty wild. It's getting a little, a little crazy over here, Ty. Um, so uh, I, found, I found, like, debris in my office, like, underneath somewhere. And it obviously, it happened, like, months ago. Yeah, it was great. Um, okay. There we go. I think I need to crack that a little bit more. Oh. Yeah, no. <laughs> there we go. I tell you, there's something therapeutic about this, Lou. That's yeah, great. Okay. Yeah. You know, it's funny. Someone had uh, recently Facebook messaged me, like, what's the best way? And I said, the best way? Best way is to get yourself a big saw. Oh, yeah. Well, but think about it. If you really, if you had one that can cut finely, Lou, you could literally take it, like, right down the edge of the plastic if it would cut it clean. That being said, I don't specialize in those kinds of tools. <laughs> so, yeah, exactly. Like, it's just not my forte. No, no, no. So, yeah, I know my limitations. That's that's definitely there. All right. So uh, we have this 1973 tops high number pack coming up. Uh, John, the list is randomized, ready to go. Okay. J five. Yeah. The uh, list is ready to go here. Yeah, it's all randomized. I can start breaking. Yep. Awesome. Okay. So good luck to Michael C, John A. Alex, Richard, and Chef all have at least one spot in this break. This is not an easy pack to find. We were fortunate to buy a nice collection recently uh, that had some 1973 Tops high number packs. First card will be right here underneath the gum. Good luck. Lou, are you a big uh, seafood guy? I got excited. I thought this was a Schmitty. Yeah. Wow, that's another piece for the files. Ooh. It is. And if you look closer, like, it's not well. No, it's not well. Oh, my God. Yeah, we're going to just safely put that away for Mikey and his collection. Okay. So when you go, get up to Maine, like, is there something that, you know, do you love their lobster? Do they have scallops you like? Just curious. Okay. You know, I, I had you over here today, Lou, like before the program. I really did. You just went to about. <laughs> I, uh, I got to tell you, in my old age, you know, I don't even ask for it. But as soon as they say, you want that de shelled? Oof, yeah. Like, no question in my mind. Yeah. Abs absolutely. I can go for it right now. I'm starving. Oh, my goodness. As you can tell, I'm doing talking about food. <laughs> fair. That's fair. Ooh, this is a nice card. Yeah, I could I could definitely see that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, John Kennedy. Now I don't believe he's related to the Kennedys, but then again, I don't know my genealogy. I don't believe so. But he has a sock. It's a nice card here. This looks very gradable. Michael C., I'll check this out for you after, but uh, this does look gradable. Um, okay. Mike C. Big hit, of course. We're looking for the Mike Schmidt rookie card. We do have one as part of our 1973 Tops baseball break. It's graded PSA 8, and it's part of an entire set that we're going to break. We just listed it the other day on VintageBreaks.com. I know I heard his name before. I just didn't know much about him. Oh, wow. Here we go. Ken Wright. This is a nice card, too. John A., this one looks like it could be nine quality. We'll check that out for you afterwards as well. Jeff Burrows. This might have been his rookie or 72-70. I think this might be his rookie. I don't remember. Yeah. Yes. There we go. Jeff Burrows. 
Yeah. Okay, Deron Johnson. A little bit off-centered. Can't tell what that surface flaw is right there. I'll look at it after. Good luck to everyone who is leaving comments and participating. We appreciate it. We're giving away that PSA One Year Collectors Club membership in just a few minutes. Doc Ellis. Certainly have uh, some stories about him we've heard. Hey, J5, uh, Tim H. He's a Vintage Bakes regular. We know Tim well. He says he changed his name on Google and he can't change it back. So now he's known as the Dick Trickle on YouTube in case we're missing him. Okay. Listen, it's kind of breaking news over here, you know, because I was worried about Tim H. I hadn't seen him. But apparently the Dick Trickle is okay. Oh, I didn't know that. You know what was on the other day was... Um, I don't know. I gotta get to my first event. I've never been to a NASCAR event, and I, and I hear changes after you're like, you know, you have all the power in front of you. Yeah, that'd be cool. Hey, listen, I'm gonna tell Julie it's part of a work thing we got to do. I'll be gone for a few days. It'd be great. Um, Alex, this is yours. This is a nice card. Uh, we'll screen that for grading as well. Jack Heideman. So it doesn't look like we're going to schmitty in this pack, but it does look like we potentially have a few gradable cards. So that's kind of cool. Nice card. Last card for you, Chef. Billy Wilson. Actually a pretty nice card, considering it was also the last card in the pack. That looks like it might be gradable as well. I'll tell you, I think we did pretty well for gradable cards out of a 10-card pack. I'll screen that for everyone after the PSA show today. One of the many things that's kind of cool here, Lou, is um, many or most of the hits that people get out of our packs, we usually grade them on the house for them with PSA. I know folks really enjoy that. Oh. Oh, thanks for joining us, bud. Hey, J5, if you can help me just clean up the screen here for a sec. Make sure I recenter this beautiful mini time capsule for tomorrow. Thanks for letting uh, everyone know, Daniel. Yeah, you can see our entire, believe it or not, archive of over 6,000 break videos all at youtube.com slash vintage breaks. And of course, instead of scrolling, YouTube has a pretty good search feature. Just put in the year, and we generally try to use the same title structure for all of our breaks. So it should be easy enough to find something. Um, great. So in just a minute or two, uh, let's see, it's 525. All right, folks, so in one minute, Victoria, you have that list together? Yes, I'll send it to you. <coughs> Great. About to give away some fun prizes. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate you, uh, all, you all, of us, all of you joining us. Um, you know, we couldn't have done it without you. I remember, Lou, when, you know, we would turn on and there would be a handful of people and, you know, you hit 12 or whatever. Um, you know, listen, uh, as you've, you've kind of showed me the way, uh, you know, we don't talk at them. We talk with you. Uh, we have a very interactive show. Um, Earl, thanks for joining us. Earl's World of Collecting, always helping to promote vintage breaks um, uh, on the interweb. Uh, it is Earl's birthday. Happy birthday, bud. So uh, don't forget, this is the main event. You do not want to miss this, whether you have a spot or not. I'm not sitting on a treasure trove of these. I wish I was. This sold out today in 51 minutes after we sent out the email. We'll be opening this tomorrow night for everyone's viewing pleasure, 9 p.m. Eastern Time on youtube.com slash vintage breaks on sports collectors daily facebook page um, and of course a vintage breaks and just collect facebook page as well oh yep next week will be on monday instead of wednesday so please uh mark that note for your calendar if you can we're looking forward to seeing you thanks for joining us david appreciate you joining in and tuning in cobri and rich all right let me get to the email Victoria, you said it's in the... I should have it? Yeah, I can. Great. So, so, J5 is... I mean, as of right now, absolutely. Yeah. That was the pack of the National, and to be honest, I might sleep with this under my pillow tonight. You know, Julie says to me, yeah, but the, pack, the cards have already been decided. It's in there. I said, yeah, but you know what? I, I don't know. Right? How do we all get here? We're not going to get into the meaning of life, but... 
you know? Absol absolutely. All right, so we now have the list. <laughs> you know, I'm going to call right after this, Lou. Um, okay, so we're going to randomize the list, right? Good luck to everybody. Sincerely uh, appreciate everyone joining in today, tuning in, commenting, and just making it a lot of fun. Thanks. It was great. And, of course, you, Lou, as well. Look at this. I'm getting ready for the casino. Hard 10 craps. Pays like 9 to 1, Lou. This is nice. Getting ready for the casino this weekend. You're, nah, that's the thing. <laughs> exactly. That's why I don't want to roll too many dice today. So we have 50 different names. Um, it's going to be uh, 10 times in the randomizer. And we have these five prizes, four prizes, along with the PSA. Person on top. Hold on one second, John. So that's nine, right? Slowly scroll down. Person on top after 10 will get the PSA one-year membership. Good luck. Heather W. I know a regular fan of the show. Congratulations, Heather. That's top five. I'm sorry? Top five. Yep, Heather W. got the PSA package. Um, I will tell you the other prizes. Russ, we just missed it, buddy. You got an 84 Donruss pack. Josh B., you got an 85 Fleer pack. Ablardo, I hope I'm pronouncing your name properly. Sounds good. Um, golf pack. And 1983 rack with Jim Rice on the back. Is yours B squared Ben Bitter? Awesome. Yeah, it's very cool. I know Heather's watched a lot of our shows, so I'm happy. Uh, I think it's Heather and her husband watch. I'm not exactly sure. Um, you know, we should have done a live phone uh, to them. Hey, do you know you just won a one year PSA package? <laughs> that would have been cool. Well, Heather apparently already knows. So the cat's out of the bag. Um, well, listen, Heather, uh, congratulations. Thanks so much. Um, I know Russ was just on the outside. Stan, where, where were you on the list, bud? Oh, Stan was close. Seven. At least seven was Mickey Mantle's number. There's some, you know, consolation there. Um, absolutely. So um, if you want to continue to watch us, continue to participate in freebies and in breaks, we're going to be breaking tonight uh, until between 8 and 9 p.m. Eastern on YouTube.com slash Vintage Breaks. So come on over from the PSA Facebook page. Really appreciate everyone hanging today. And, of course, next week we're going to see you on Monday at 4.30, not Wednesday. Um, and, Lou, I'm sure I'll talk to you before then, but if not, for some reason, uh, have a great weekend. And I appreciate your help today. Sounds good. Take it easy. Thank you. Bye. All right, Jay. Uh, five, you want to take over? Show everyone the pack. Keep it there for safekeeping. You have the, I didn't check any winner-take-all stuff, so if you could check in with Robert. Okay, let me know what's up with that. Great job. Thanks, uh, Victoria. Okay. Uh, all right. Another successful show, guys. I would literally eat a hamburger now, lobster. And... Stuart, are you uh, hungry at all? Um, Is that going to order you anything? Not really. Uh, my, well, my I, don't know, I was asking you some questions. Or something like that. All right, guys, I'm just cleaning up a little bit here. Let's get this. Clean this out. Hey, what's up, Charles? So, Ken or Kenneth? So, who had a question? Oh, yeah, Reginald, so you want to be part of the action, you got to go to VintageBreaks.com. Uh, make sure you register first on the top right hand side. Actually, you know what? I'm going to show you. Uh, so this is VintageBreaks.com. What I suggest you do first is you log in. You hit register. And just put in your name. It's free. So first name, last name, email address, and a password. Uh, once you're all set, just go back to the home site. And you can start adding spots to your cart. Um, so, you know, we have everything from high end, like $500, $400, $200 a spot, uh, down to $3.50 a spot. That's it. Uh, 
Charles, uh, yeah, we'll be breaking from the show. Uh, so Victoria and I will be on, I think the show starts at 1. Mm-hmm. And it ends at, I want to say, 8 or 9, maybe? I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, we'll be... We'll be breaking that whole entire show. So, oh, okay, Ken Cobra, sounds good. Um, Chef, I, I, I gotta wait for Robert. Robert's doing the offline, so I gotta wait for him. Um, so Rob, I think the the winner take all ended or filled up. Because the thing was, I think it, I think it filled up. So just double check. Chef, we're going to uh, check the list now. Our Wi-Fi went down for a little bit, so we were a little backed up on the list. All right. Uh, yeah, congrats to Heather. Uh, I'm not sure if she's watching now. Uh, so, guys, uh, Eric, for example, if you want to be a part of the uh, the uh, giveaway for the PSA membership, you had to go to PSA card on Facebook. So facebook.com slash PSA card, then go into the Vintage Break show, then check in there. That that chat is what we're looking at. We're not looking at the YouTube chat or our regular Facebook chat, Vintage Break chat. That doesn't count. It's only the Facebook PSA show chat. That's it. So still How many spots we we have? Six spots. Left? Are filled. Yeah. Oh, so chef, which one are you talking about? <laughs> hey, what's up, Joe? Uh, oh, the offline big board. That's what you're talking about. My bad. Say we're gonna take all. That's yep, we're gonna do that. Now. Hey, what's up, Kizox? Uh, yeah, chef, I got you. Uh, let's do that real quick. Victoria, email me the list. Chef, you have no spots in this giveaway. Just letting you know. I could be lying. No, I see your name, Ted. Uh, Ted Hawson. Yeah, I see you. You're in here. I don't know how many spots you have in here, but you're in here. Hey, there's Heather. Trying to get there. You go. Ah, that's good. That's weird. Why does it look like that? Huh. All right. All right. Let's, uh, let's clear this up. It's going to be offline. Big board. Promo? Nah, giveaway. Hey, Chef, the winner take all actually didn't close out yet. I thought you were referring to the winner take all. I thought, so I thought it filled up. But you're talking about the offline. The offline did fill up. Uh, okay, so I have the list. Where's my dice? There it is. Okay. Let's record. This is for our offline big board giveaway where one lucky individual coming in first will get this 1957 tops Willie Mays PSA 8 uh, off centered, as you can see. Uh, it's going to be given to first place again. Second place uh, will have, uh, will receive a $100 uh, vintage breaks credit. Uh, third place will get a hundred dollar just collect eBay store credit, which I will e- e- email you myself. Uh, fourth place will get a 1983 Tops uh, football wax pack. Fifth place, an 84 Fleer baseball wax pack. Uh, so those are the prizes. Uh, 
let's find out who wins what. All right, good luck to everyone. Here we go. That's a, f oh, you guys can't see that. That is a four. Four on the random. One. Jim Chu on top. Two. Jim Chu again. Wow. Three. Super Dave on three. Here we go. On four, the winner of the offline big board Willie Mays card is Thad Shirley. Thad Shirley coming in and sweeping that up. Uh, I need a top four, so seven, seven, fifth, top five right there. Okay. So, Thad, congrats. You get into Willie Mays. I don't know if you guys ever checked out our Vintage Bricks pen. We give this away at the show, so if you go to the Philly show, you can pick up one of these bad boys. They write very well. So, Thad, Shirley, congratulations, Thad. You get the uh, 57 tops Willie Mays, PSA 8 OC. That's going to be shipped off to you. Second place, Thomas Moody. Thomas, you'll be getting a $100 break credit, which I will do for you uh, in a little bit. Third place, Jim Chu. Jim, you're getting a $100. Well, I already know what to do with that. So, Jim, Chu. Fourth place is Kevin W. Kevin getting 83 Toss Football Wax Pack. And fifth place is Jeff Goggin. Jeff. You'll be getting an 84 Fleer Baseball Wax Pack. Alright, that was our offline big board giveaway. Thank you so much, guys. Congratulations to Thad Shirley. Uh, Chef, so most likely when you when you purchased this morning, it already closed off. It already filled up. We were really close to filling it up. Um, so you're probably in the new one, which is going to be the Walt Frazier, Walt Frazier card. Uh, Victoria can can uh, check for you. She'll let you know. I, I think it closed really early today. What? Uh, actually, I could probably check too. Hold on, let me see. So Robert, you got that that winner take all I announced at four with the rookie, right? Yeah. So you keep track. Yeah. So J five, we're gonna announce the. Uh, we have no other box bonuses left over from yesterday, right? I don't think so. Yeah. Okay, cool. So this is our uh, one and only 2007 tops co-signers box. We have the other co-signers box. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Did you guys bust that yesterday? I wonder the, uh, who's the dual auto? I, know. I think so. Yeah, Mike did it. Okay. Um, well, we have one more. It's a different year. It's a very popular product. J5, so it's going to be a bonus. So, of course, they can double dip until the winner take all is filled. Mm -hmm. It's $20 an entry. It's the next 100 entries. 15 prizes. The 12 packs in that box, which, of course, you get three autographs. One of them is guaranteed to be dual. And then three spots in the 75 tops, uh, some, excuse me, 73 tops baseball separate. Okay. I'm going to order Japanese ones. Do the one you guys want? Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 Well, last night's last double TA can. Uh, last night's double TA. I saw it. Here. That's the new one. No, the one from last night. I don't think we pulled it up. It's still here. Oh, I didn't realize that. I'm sorry. So, uh, what do you want to do? Oh, so basically, I would fill that one up first, and then we'll just save that one. I didn't realize that. Okay. Yeah, we'll have one. So, this one's a $5 entry. 
200 entries. Yeah, apologize. I didn't realize that, John. Yeah. But that's still, that bonus is still in effect. They can yeah. still have access to that. So, Rob, change the, uh, from 10 to 5? Yeah, great. And, uh, it's, it's a $5 share. I think that's that, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you could carry those yes. names right. over. Yep. And then, uh, I guess we have to just adjust the quantity for the, for the people that purchased today. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Starting at 4. Just double up their names. Basically. Starting at 4. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah, starting at 4. Yeah. Uh, all right, guys. So, we're going to postpone this WTA. Until, yeah, until we finish this one, which is the second uh, year Kofax. Second year Sandy Kofax, oh. PSA 2.5. Oh. Sorry, last night. It's $5 an entry. Forgot we that. need 200 entries. We're also going to get a 73 Tops baseball separate spot and a $50 break credit. So now you also have the bonus. Yeah. This is the bonus. It's $20 entries. Next 100 entries so twenty dollars um at a hundred that's the bonus box top 15 get prizes top 12 will get a pack in the box and then 13th place uh will get a 73 so 12 pack oh sorry the, the okay so 13 through 15 will get a 73 top baseball set free spot yep so top 15 get prizes top 12 will get a pack in this box uh it's twenty dollars per entry we need a hundred entries. You got that one, Rob? What one? There's a bonus. How much? So, eliminate the tab with the ten dollars for a hundred entries. Double up those names and move them over to the five dollars. So, one, the winner take off. Yeah, because this is a winner take off from last night, and we're rolling over. So, so take those names and double up each one because it's gonna be ten dollars. <clears throat> Here. The winner take off. He's doing. Work. We're doing this one. We're postponing that one. So but, the, but the people that are in this one, you have to put into this one. Okay. So. Yeah, so you're going to have to uh, double up the names in a $10 tab. Okay, that's, that's what I did now. So, yeah. So delete this one then, right? Uh, no, you could just delete the names. Yeah. You don't have to delete the tab because yeah. that's going to be the next one. Okay. Okay. Hey, Joe. Uh, the 55 Bowman, yeah, man, that closed out. <laughs> it closed out in 51 minutes. It sold out. So what's the, what, what are the bonus now? The bonus is $20. We need 100 entries. First 100 entries at $20. So there's no $10 in there, right? No, there's no $10 right now. There's the $7, $10. Right? Yep. F no, I'm sorry, 5 and 20. Five and twenty. Five and twenty. Yeah. So, uh, Joe, we're opening it tomorrow night at nine p.m. Eastern time. Make sure you stay uh, tune in. Um, and I'm just looking here at the most recent sales. All right. So this bonus is good. <clears throat> Hey Sean, if you want to be a part of the uh, of the promotions, the giveaways, all you gotta do is go to this time. The twenty dollar one. Uh, when we went live. So uh, I'm sorry, the uh, twenty dollar one. Uh, five forty. Five forty. So people have gotten the first one, the guy from the big, the funny one, the father one? Yeah, put them in the father one, yeah. So they spent $10, you, they get two spots in this one. Uh, so to be a part of the action, you go to vintagebreaks.com. This is the uh, website. Uh, just hit login first and register, which is right here, before you buy any spots. Trust me, you want to do that first because this is where you have access to your dashboard. You could check your uh, recent orders, your past history. Uh, you could. You could also check out as a guest. I just highly suggest registering. It's much easier. Uh, get your first name, last name, email address, and a password. Once you submit, just go back to the home site and just start adding spots. We have high-end spots from $250 per spot to $500 per spot, all the way down to $3.50 a spot. Uh, so for these giveaways, uh, for this one, you need to spend five dollars, at least five dollars during checkout to get one entry. So if you spend ten dollars, you get two entries. Okay. What, what's your year, bro? We need to fill up two hundred 
entries to uh, f uh, to give this away. First person on top will win this and a fifty dollar break credit, which is good as cash on our website, uh, and a seventy three tops baseball separate spot. So that is the uh, winner take all. We call this WTAs. One person wins it. Then we have the bonus. If you spend twenty dollars, you get one entry into this. You get uh, four entries into this. And then once we fill this up, which we need a hundred entries, we'll run them off the names. Top fifteen get prizes. Top twelve will get a pack. Uh, so one through twelve will get into this box. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen will get a seventy-three tops baseball separate spot for free. So that was the promotions, plus more bonuses. We have our hundred dollars snapper. You spend a hundred dollars, you get one entry to this giveaway. Uh, we need 150 entries to fill it up. Uh, you have to spend a hundred dollars during checkout in order to get one entry. You're not gonna find this on the website. This is not on the website. It is all background work. So my man Rob right now is looking at all purchases. You have to do it doing one transaction. Everything has to be one transaction uh, in order for you to. Uh, we can't add anything. So if you spend fifty now and fifty in twenty minutes. We're not going to add you to equal a hundred. That doesn't work that way. So that's a hundred dollars snappers, also a bonus. And then we have a fifty dollars snapper. You spend fifty bucks, uh, you're going to get one spot into this giveaway where we need one hundred fifty entries. First place will get uh, this Mickey Mantle and Ken Boyer rival All Stars card, PSA seven. So you spend fifty, you get one entry here. You'll get two entries into this, and uh, for this one you'll get like twenty five entries. So, no, I'm sorry, uh, fifty five uh, ten. So that's how it works. Whew. So that's only when we're live, guys. When we're live, all of this stuff I just mentioned to you is when we're live. Uh, when we're offline and we're not live, if you spend $100, which I reward people for spending offline, uh, if you do offline, you're going to get one entry into this giveaway. It is the 69 Wall Frazier Rookie Card, SUC 88. Uh, you need to spend $100 offline, you get one entry. You spend 300, you get three entries. We need 150 entries to fill this up. Only when we're not live. We keep track of that too. Uh, which a lot of people today, by closing out the 55 Bowman, because uh, we were so close to giving away the uh, the Mickey, uh, the Willie Mays card, that everything else just rolled over into this one. So a lot of names got rolled over today. Right, Victoria? Yeah. So, because we were really close to closing it yesterday. Oh, nice, Joe. You saw him on that? Uh, what's up, Jen? Uh, how did you get... Okay, good. Uh, that'll be interesting, Fizzox. Uh, okay, so I'm going to... Uh, email a couple people their uh, break credits. So the first one is going to go to uh, who was the second person going to? Uh, Thomas Moody. Thomas, do I have your email? I do, Thomas. Awesome. So Thomas, you can get a hundred dollar break credit for coming second place for the offline big board. Promo code. Uh, and I'm gonna create that for you right now. Okay, so Thomas. Uh, I need you to check your email in one minute and make sure you got the code. So what you do is when you during when you go at checkout, just copy and paste this code into the promo section, apply promo section, and then it will reduce your total by a hundred dollars. So just add up, add everything to your cart, go into the end, copy and paste this code in the apply promo section, and it's going to reduce the total by a hundred dollars. So I'm going to email you that right. No. Okay, Thomas, check your email. You should have it. Uh, and also, Jim, you're going to be next. Uh, 
save that. Okay, so Jim, same thing applies to you. So, uh, Jim, check your email as well. All right, so that's done. That's done. And Jeff and Kevin, you're both getting packs. So, congrats. And we'll pull those out and ship you out this week. All right. Whew. Had to take care of business there, folks. Uh, Charles, uh, the gift codes. The gift cards, the promo codes, the break credits. Hey, Rick, the 73 baseball, uh, I'm assuming no, maybe. Which one? Second series, fourth series? We just did the high series one. We just uh, opened up the high series pack seven. I'm not sure which one uh, you're looking for. So Charles, those break credits, uh, were they for, for which part? Because we're still getting to them, so just hang out on those. Uh, so guys, this is again the 55 Bowman Baseball Wax Pack that we're going to be, going to be opening up tomorrow uh, at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, just a, oh, the set break, the 73, uh, 73 set, uh, baseball, baseball, no, 73, no, that just started, <laughs> Rick, that just started, it's not going to be sold out for a while, I would say maybe a couple of weeks. Oh yeah, Charles, I got you, sir, it, it's on my keyboard, I have to, uh, I have to email you, you and two other people. Um, I, I just have to get to it first, but yes, I have it. All right, let's do a couple of breaks while we wait. Tops baseball pack one one forty. Uh, Stu, did you get your uh, your check? Cool. Okay, cool. What's up, Charles? Yeah, let's get this party started, shall we? I'll be here for about an hour, an hour and a half. This is for a 1980 Tops Baseball Wax Pack, number 140. Uh, good luck to Tim Hadley, Tim and Jonathan, and Michael. Here we go. Eight times on the random. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Uh, okay. All right. Um, so I just got a alert from Victoria Camp. I'll let a block. Wait, who is it? Alvarado, I can't find your <coughs> Facebook or anything, and you don't have my file, so please email me if you see watching right now. All right, so if you can have Abelardo, 
Abelardo from Facebook. Uh, you're not registered, so can you email Victoria um, so we can send you out your prize, right? Yes. Uh, it's uh, Victoria at VintageBreaks.com. Uh, you won on the Facebook prize, and we don't know where to send it to. So uh, we need you to email her. I don't know if your watch is still. If you hopped on from Facebook, from uh, PSA's Facebook show, hopefully you have. Um, can you I am him? I, I couldn't find his comment. That's what I'm saying. I found the other two. I couldn't find his. So if he's watching, to just um, okay. Me. All right. I hope he does. I hope he's watching. If not, then Lane's up on the next Okay. Hey, yeah, what's up, Steve? Man, this is really. Very good. Did that Hey, what's up, Colonel Inks? What's up, Rick? So you bought four spots in a set break. Does that mean I get four entries? Uh, so, Rick, it's the total you spent. So I'm not sure what the total is. If the total is $30, you're going to get into the winner take all. You're going to get into the bonus. One entry there. Uh, you're going to get... That's it, really, actually. If you spend 30 I'm not sure how much you spent, but, um, yeah. All you need to do is spend $5 to get one entry to this. So you spent $10, so you get two entries. So you spend 20 you get four. Uh, you spent 50 uh, I'm sorry, if you spent 40 you get two entries into this. So it's by total. It's by your total you spent. And then you got the promotions that we're running this week that ends on Sunday. The big giveaway is that first place will win this 1968 Toss Mickey Mantle PSA card. Uh, these promotions end on Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. We'll be doing it from the Philly show. Uh, Rick, $38? Okay. So, yeah. So, Rob, you could uh, you could round up Rick Gardner to 40 He spent 38 So, Rick, you're going to get uh, two spots in this bonus. You're going to get your uh, your entries for this one. And for uh, for 40 you're going to get uh, entries into the promotion for Sunday. This one is per spot. So whatever spots you purchase, you get entries for that. So if you, if you buy five spots, you'll get five entries. Uh, so, yeah, that's how that works. <laughs> All right. So Tim, Tim Howie, first card is yours. It's right here in the gum side, first side, front side, I mean. All right, first card, Ken Oberkfell for 10. It's my second card. All right, Toria, bright and early, five in the morning. Yes. All right. Card two, Paul Mitchell. It's all good, Rick. I mean, you're new. The guys in the chat will definitely help you out. We're, you know, fun, friendly community. Mine with you. What? Mine with you. Well, I'm on the chat, so I guess I can. <laughs> Car three, Terry Pugh. Car four, Johnny. Walking Fuss, Tigers. Car five, Kiko Garcia, Kiko Garcia. Yeah, Rick, like Fizzog says, there are no stupid questions. If you're new, you wanna know how everything works, we're happy to help you. If you have any questions, you can also email Victoria at VintageBreaks.com. Uh, she's in Monday through Friday from 9 to 6. So she And she breaks as well. So she'll be able to uh, answer your questions via email. Card 6, Hector Cruz. Hector Cruz. Card 
Foot seven. Jeff Burrows. Of course, in this pack, we are looking for a Ricky Henderson Rookie Hall of Fame card. Eddie Tops Baseball. Next up, Gary Matthews. Gary Matthews. Card nine. Bert Hooten. Bert Hooten. Card ten. Ray Knight. No problem, Brick. We also have a FAQ page on our website. Uh, just on the top, you'll see FAQ. If you have any questions there, uh, we try to point out the most common questions. Uh, shipping is free to domestic areas, uh, locations. Uh, international, we tend to just uh, you know charge you depending on the weight. Um, so that's one of the common questions. When will your pack break? That's another common question. Uh, here's Dusty Baker, A11. So we do have a queue. Um, so we go somewhat by order of when the packs sell out. Um, you know, right now I have like 10 packs, 20 packs to go through. Um, Fizzlocks, what do you mean? App. What kind of, what do you mean? Like for what? That is not. So, Rick, uh, most likely, unless you spend over $100 on a spot, because uh, we tend to push those to the front because they're very expensive. Otherwise, everything else we just kind of set in queue and then we just break as we go. So sometimes your um, your pack won't break until, you know, maybe a couple of days from now. So, but we only break when we're live. We do not break when we're offline. So just know it will be broken. Hoskin Powell, 12. What app do you when you're out of town? Dating. Oh, dating app. Uh, I used to I used to use um, uh, what's it called? What's it called? Uh, Tinder. Tinder. Yes. Bob, you know all about that, right? Barry Bonnell. But some of the big apps right now are like, uh, Bumble. I think Bumble's another one. Uh, Bagel Meets Coffee, I think. Something like that. Fizzos, you should look into that one. I think it's called Bagel Meets Coffee or Coffee Meets Bagel. Something like that. Well, we got an athletics here, but Rick Langford, not Ricky. And card 15, Tony Perez. Okay, that is the 1980 Tops Baseball Pack number 140. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, okay. So, um... <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, Face Ox. Um, Rick, another common question is, if I, if I can't see my break live, where can I find it? Uh, that's another common question. Uh, let me show you. If you go to our homepage, um, if you go to our uh, break calendar right here. So today's Wednesday. So majority of all these packs have sold out today or, or this past week that we have not gotten to yet. Uh, meanwhile, everything that we have broken, as you can see, have links and their SKU numbers. That's why I highly recommend registering to the website because you can see the SKU numbers in your order history. Every SKU number is unique and if you bought into it, you will be in that break. So for example, this 80 tops basketball pack 74, if you click on it, it'll take you straight to our YouTube channel and straight to that break. We uh, record every single break individually. Uh, so you can see here, Mike yesterday was breaking this 80 toss basketball pack 74. It's from the start to the beat to, uh, from the start to the end. Um, and you can check it out. You know, we randomized the list. If it was a personal pack. It will be just for one person. Uh, it's right there. So, 
uh, check that out. This is a weekly update. So we only do this weekly. Everything that we do from last week is under this column, prior week. So you can check it out here. If not, uh, if you miss it, you can always go to our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash vintage breaks. Go under videos. And then you do a search uh, for your pack. So 1984 tops. And then you have all the videos for 84 tops. The SKU number is important because the title includes the SKU number. So if you're pack 88 or you're pack 118, that's why it's important to know and you need to register so you can find out quicker. So that's where you find your uh, your pack breaks if you can't watch this live. Hey, what's up, Robert? Cool, Rick. I'm glad. Thanks, Reginald. Appreciate it. Yeah, we try. You know, we try to do our best to uh, make sure you guys uh, find your videos quick. Um, again, FAQs page will answer most of these. But welcome to the show. If you have any more questions, just chat. And all these all these folks here on the chat will be uh, happy to help you out. So uh, we have a lot of our regulars here, uh, like Fizzox is a regular. He helps people out. Uh, we have Charles Gilliatt and Ted Hart or Chef. He's you know Robert Bacon. All of these guys are usual regulars, so uh, they'll help you out too. All right, next pack, next pack. All right. Nineteen ninety four baseball pack number one twenty one. All right. Okay, and let's record. This is for a 1994 SP Baseball Pack number 121. Uh, good luck to Russ and Manuel for being in the pack. We can randomize the list. Thanks, Rick. Welcome, my friend. Hey, what's up, CJ? Uh, CJ, with the winner take all, I think it just started. So I don't think it's gonna. I don't think it's close to closing it. I could be wrong. Rob will tell me. I say five on the random. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Let's get that on the list. ACJ, hey, yeah, man, four three spots life on the Mickey Mantle hit random. It's crazy. It's almost there. Almost there. Uh, Manuel, first card right here. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks, Sue. I'll see you tomorrow. Charles. Yeah, I can't stand the night off. <laughs> he worked so hard last night. I have Rob here tonight, uh, along with Leighton. And then tomorrow, um, it'll be uh, Sam, Doug, uh, Rob, uh, Mike, I won't be in here tomorrow. I got to get ready for Friday. I'll be driving at the show, to the show, Friday morning early. All right. First card, Mark Langston. Mark Langston for my law. This is the hit rating to show off after the talk. Part two, Manuel. You got Eric Anthony. Part two. Jim. Uh, uh, yeah, that's actually a good idea. Um, okay, I'll do that. I'll come up with some. I have Victoria recorded. Brian McRae. This is car three. Car three. From Manuel. <laughs> Charles. I, yeah, he told me. He told me. Andy Vance like Andy Vance like car four. Sean 
chef, you collect lots of hair. I would love to give you mine, man. Uh, wait till I get a haircut. I'll ship you off on your next package. You could use that for the mustache if you want to use that. I'll, I'll give you like a nice long <laughs> lock of hair. <laughs> uh, premier prospect of Derek Lee. Derek Lee, car five for Manuel. Card six, nice. You got the uh, Hollow View for Russ of uh, Jeff Kent. Jeff Kent. That's pretty cool. Seven. Mickey Tettleton. Ha. All right, Chef. I'm good. I got my own barber, man. Good. Todd Zeal. Last card in the pack. Card number eight. Uh, Thomas, are you going to be at? Yes, we are going to be at the National uh, in Chicago this year. Um, we'll be at the Breakers Pavilion. So check us out at the Breakers Pavilion. Uh, we'll be there along uh, with... I'll be there at Victoria... Um, Layton, Mike, so definitely, definitely check it out. 1994 SP Basel Pack 121 in the books. <laughs> Fizzox, I, I'm sure of that. I, I 100% believe that. Kevin, no. Uh, John, what happened? Jay, uh, so many older unopened packs, there is a soft cushion in the case. What do you mean? Uh, what do you mean, John, soft cushion? Okay, next up, 84 Top Football. Pack 167. Okay. Which one? I broke them. No, the oh, I gave it to Lane. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, guys, uh, before I open this pack, Lane wanted me to uh, show off the new hit random. Uh, how many are in this one? Twenty-five. All right, guys. So the new, the new hit random is up on our website. It's twenty-five gritty cards. So this entire stack, not stack, but this entire shoot of cards, uh, it's going to be seventy-five dollars per spot. So you're guaranteed a gritty card, no matter what. We need twenty-five entries. You'll find it on the website. One lucky individual is going to land on this spot. And it's going to be taking home a 52 tops Jackie Robinson PSA 1 card. This is heavy. It's got some weight to it. Um, so that is the big prize in this hit random. Uh, it's all random. Literally all random. We ran them off the card names. We ran them off the card positions. We put it together. We go down the list. So everything is literally at random. <laughs> Andy. Um, so that is uh, that is the big hit. Then also somebody's going to win the sixty-five tops Mickey Mantle card. It's a PSA two. That's the Mickey. 
as well as maybe a 33 Gaudi Walter Marinville, as you see, 2.5. We also have a 73 Tops Jack Hand, PSA 8, rookie card. Yep. You got a 93 Ballman Derry Jeter rookie card, PSA 9. 57 Tops Dodgers Sluggers, SEC 2.5 with Roy Campanella and Duke Snyder, Gil Hodges, Carl Ferrillo. We got a 55 Bowman Nelly Fox, SEC 5. We have a T206 Bill Lattimore tobacco card, SEC 3. And it has the Sweet Cat back. Very well centered. We got a 72 Tops Ken Dryden, PSA 8. We got a 72 Tops ABA Rebound Leaders, PSA 6. 82 Fleer, Cal Brickman Jr., PSA 8. Eighty four Opichi Don Manley rookie card PSA eight. Two thousand thirteen Panini Prism Parallel uh draft picks Monkey Bats PSA ten rookie card. Sixty nine tops Rockaroo All Star PSA six. Got an eighty six Fleer George the Iceman Gervin SGC ninety six. Seventy five tops mini. Billy Williams, as you see, eight. These are tough. Like you we got 2010 Bowman Madison Bur uh, Bumgarner, PSA 9. 73 tops Luis Aparicio, PSA 7. 88 Fleer Update Roberto Olimar, PSA 8, Rookie Hall of Fame. 90 1990 Fleer Update Frank Thomas, PSA 9. 91 Upper Deck Final Edition to uh, Pedro Martinez, PSA 9. 93 Tops Gold, Nolan Ryan, PSA 8. 84 Tops USFL, Anthony Carter, PSA 8. Later, bro. 73, to uh, 73 Tops Gilbert, 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 what? Gilbert, Perriot. Gilbert? Gilbert. Gilbert Perriot. Gilbert Perrault. Gilbert Perrault. Gilbert, Gilbert Perrault. <laughs> PSA 6. <laughs> Gilbert Perrault. And then 1990 score Canadian Martin Brodeur. Martin PSA. Brodeur. That is the hit random. So no matter what, you're going to get a graded card. It's just random. It's all on your luck, basically. Andrew Luck. Good deal. Good deal. You have anybody coming or should I lock it up? Uh, you can lock it up. Thank you, sir. So, $75 per spot, guys. It's on the website. 25 card vintage PSA 8, PSA and SEC hit random. 25 spots, and you'll see the Jackie Robinson right in the middle. This What's that? All right, so we're closed on the $5 winner take all, guys. Oh, great. No, it's nice, John. We already have the next one lined up. Yeah, we do. Okay. Go back second year's next card. So we're going to get that away after this pack. Right. Let's record. This is for a 1984 Toss Football last pack, number 167. Uh, good luck to Manny. Uh, got Manny Mendez, Michael McDaniel, Leroy Kushnerick, and Jason Mayer, and Brian Billingsley. Here we go. That is a 10. 10 on the random. 1. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Hoping to get a Dan Marino rookie or a John Elway rookie. Uh, also have Howie Long rookie, Eric Dickerson rookie. Bunch of rookie cards in the set. Rookie Hall of Famers, I should say. <laughs> Kevin, it could be. I think it could be. All right, Jason, first card right here on the front. K 
Okay, first card out. Johnny Poe. Johnny Poe. For Jason. What's up, Mike? Mike McFarland. Carlos Carson for the cheese. AFC Pro Bowler. Car three, Brian. Jim Plunkett, Raiders. Car four, Scott Brunner, Giants. Car five. Dave Wilson for the Saints. I was not watching football at this time, so I don't recognize everyone here. I was only three years old. Card six is the checklist. So the rotation just flipped. So this is a part of a new sheet. Hopefully we get a Dan Marino or John Elway. it over. Dave Krieg. Dave Krieg. Seahawks. What's up, Ken? You doing what? Uh, I want to do it for more of a dinner. If you're planning to take a, a set, they just come. Kevin, by all means, my friend, you could definitely promote our Just Collect store. I don't, yeah, I had no idea who Dave Wilson is. Sure. <laughs> I know who this is. Uh, Joe Montana. Instant replay. Car 8 for Brian. Car 9. Ezra Johnson. Packers. Car 10. Got the Packers team leaders with James Lofton. Dave Krieg, that's his rookie card. Any good, Skyler? Was he any good? Don't recognize him. Charlie Joyner. For Leroy. <laughs> right, Jeff? Uh, all right. So technically, it's not his rookie card, right? But it's not even his card. This is Fred Dean from the uh, 49ers. But who is he tackling, or should I say sacking, not other than rookie Hall of Famer uh, Dan Marino? I mean, that should count for something, right? I say that's a Dan Marino rookie card. Unofficial rookie card. It's a great, great picture right there. Probably hit, though. It looks like a late hit, right? I'm sure they didn't call it. <laughs> 13. R.C. Fieldman. R.C. Fieldman. For the Falcons. There you go, Jeff. You learn something new every day here at Vintage Breaks, my friend. Card 14, Max Runiger, Eagles. Card 14 for Jason Mayer. Card 15, last card in the pack, Andre Tippett for the Patriots. Jeff, well, yeah, yeah, three official, one unofficial. I'll take it. That was 84 Tops Football Wax Pack number 167. Uh, I can't read Sam's handwriting. It's horrible. Mm -hmm. 
before I do this, let's see what the uh, giveaway. The winner take all. All right, so for all you new guys that just joined today, good luck to you. This is your first ever winner take all. <laughs> $5 winner take all file, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, it is a winner take all. This is the first. Okay, so this started last night, uh, so we rolled it over. Um, all you had to do is spend five bucks and you get an entry. You spend 10 bucks to get two entries and so on. Uh, so we needed 200 entries. We got it in. Uh, one person, one lucky individual, is going to get this 19. Well, you know what? I should be recording this so I won't repeat myself. Uh, winner take all number one, 1956 tops Colfax. Okay, so I got the names in. Let's record. This is for our winner take all number one, which includes a 1956 top Sandy Colfax, second year, PSA 2.5. One lucky individual will be in this one. Uh, also, they'll be getting a 73 top baseball separate spot and a $50 break credit. So, one person, one winner. Rick Gartner, you're in here, Rick. Good luck, man. Here we go. That's randomized the list seven times. That's a lucky number. Here we go. One, John Agius on top. Two, John Agius again. Three, John Agius again. Four, John Agius. Wow, you kidding me, John? Five. Jeffrey Goggin. There you go. Six. Mark Sakaro. Mark, I think you knew, Mark. Now you're on top at six, man. So close. Uh, all right, I'm pulling for Rick since he's new too. I'm pulling for Rick. Rick, you're somewhere in here. I saw your name. Uh, where are you? There, wow, you're in the 200 spot on this one. All right, here we go. At seven, the winner of our first winner take all for this 1956 top Stanley Colfax card is John Agius. John came back, took it by force. Oh, Rick, you came in third, Rick. Look at that. That was close. All right, John, congratulations. You're the proud owner of Sandy Koufax, 56 tops. What's going out to you, John? All right, I'm gonna ship that out to you this week, as well as a free spot in the Sandy Free Toss Baseball Set Break. So, John Agus, free spot. John, you're also going to get a $50 break credit. Okay. Congrats, John. All right, so now let's do this 1980 Tops Basketball Wax Pack, number 76. Good luck to Drew and Eric. All right, here we go. Let's run the minus the list three times. One, two, 
three. All right, Drew, got the fifth card. Everything else belongs to Eric. That's email Victoria the list. So she can ship it off to you guys. All right. Okay, Eric, first card for you right here. I need the gun. The poster will also go to Eric. Typically, inserts, posters, stickers uh, that are not part of the pack will go to the first person in the break. Seeing that, they get the gum card anyway. And the gum card, you know, usually damages the card. So, typically, not all the time, but typically. Does. There's the gum. Uh, the gum did damage this card, unfortunately. It is Mark Landsberger, Bob Lanier, and Bill Walton. Hall of Famer. For Eric. And uh, there's the, uh, the gum damage. <clears throat> you know, it's going to happen with these packs, guys. Uh, just to also let you know, we don't give refunds for uh, wax residue damage or gum damage. It's part of the pack. It's part of the process. We can't stop it. Um, you know, if you're missing a card, we will refund you. If we have an extra card, that will go to the first person in the break. Hey, what's up, Paul? Second card, Eric. Kent Benson, John Shoemate, and Paul Westfall. No. It's not too bad on the centering. Car three, Eric Money, Swint Nader, James Silas. All right, man. Sounds good. Car four, Phil Hubbard, Robert Parrish, and Tom Burleson. Robert Parrish, uh, Rebounding Leaders. The poster is going to Eric. And Eric, you, my friend, have the Nets. Nets team poster. Very cool. Very cool. All right, that's going out to you. Card five. James Edwards, Mike Newland, Wynell Hollins. Pack fresh cards, folks. Pack fresh. Card uh, six going to Eric. The rest are yours, my friend. Walter Davis, Bill Cartwright, and Bob Gross. This one is miscut, unfortunately. Card seven. We got Phil Ford, Reggie Theus, and John Williamson. Card eight. Last card in the pack. Dan Roundfield, Dan Issel, and Brian Winters. There it was your 80 Toss Basketball Pack number 76. Thank you guys. Okay. All right, next up. Yes, I love this set. 89 score football. Uh, all right, so how many people are, do we have watching right now? All right, we got 46 people watching. All right, guys, since uh, we have a lot of new guys here too, uh, once in a while we do uh, trivia questions. 
where uh, the prize will be a $10 break credit, uh, which is good as cash to our website. Uh, I'm going to do one now since we have a lot of people watching. Uh, so thank you for sticking around. Uh, let's, uh, let's put it on the chat here. Uh, yes. Here is the question. Hope you guys were paying attention today. Hey, what's up, Troy? Welcome to our show, man. All right, so here is the trivia question. First person to answer it correctly on my screen. So you guys will see my. You see it uh, right, right here. This is the screen. First person I see on this screen on mine on my screen to answer it first will win. I don't go by your screen because everybody's lag time is different. So it's what I see on my screen. Just want to get that out of the way. All right, there's the trivia question. First, press, first person to answer correctly, I will email you a $10 break credit right now. And also, the new winner take all is in effect. Uh, I would say it probably started at 6. Uh, what time did I email that to? Uh, winner take all. 6.22. At 6.22, guys, this it was an effect. The new winner take all. So let me put that here. So 6.22 p.m. This one is $10 per entry. All right. I got answers. Great. Let's see who we got. Um, all right, so on my screen, I have Sean Anderson. Sean, that was awesome. 51 minutes is the answer. Uh, first person, right after I, I asked the question. There it is, right there. You guys see it. Uh, Chris, what's next? Chris Gill, 50 minutes. Nope, nope, 51. Looking for 51. I guess we're close. Uh, answer was 51. And Sean Anderson, are you registered to our website? Sean, let me know, Sean, so I can email you the break credit. Uh, Mike, the question was, how long did it take to, uh, how long did it take for our 55 Bowman uh, baseball wax pack uh, for uh, in order to sell out? How long did it take to sell out this morning? <coughs> the answer was 51 minutes. It took 51 minutes to sell out. Lane mentioned that earlier today. Uh, so the first person to answer it on my screen uh, is Sean Anderson from YouTube. I got some Facebook answers too. Brian, Mike, Eric. Yeah. So you guys are coming in. But Sean got it first. So guys, the winner take all is in effect now. This one will ro roll over to tomorrow uh, if it doesn't fill up. It's 100 entries at $10, Rob. It started at 6.22. 6.22 p.m. Uh, 100 entries at $10. Uh, at, we already mentioned it earlier today. It includes 89 Fleer King Griffey Jr. Rookie Card, PSA 9. Uh, Nelly Fox, 54 Bowman. Uh, 59 Orlando Cepeda. 56 Tops, Hoyt Wilhelm. Uh, 58 Billy Martin, 57 Early Win. I want to say that's 61 Casey Stangle. I don't remember the year that one. Uh, <laughs> 61 Richie Ashburn. Okay. 622. Dave Winfield. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, Gaylord Perry. Uh, Goose Gossage. Rosabelle Brown. Sonny Jurgensen. Terry Bradshaw. Matt Snell. Cliff Harris, Randy Cross, and John Riggins. This is all the winner to take all. All you have to do is spend 10 bucks. We are keeping track of that. Once it fills up to 100 entries, we will give it away. Only one person will win, as well as a 73 toss baseball set break spot. That is the new winner to take all, guys. 
saw Eric first on Facebook page. Uh, I think you were, maybe. Um, okay, so let's do this one. 1989 score. Uh, and Sean, get back to me, Sean. I don't see you. Let me know if you're registered. If you're not, I suggest you do so I can email you that code. Sean, yes, you are. Okay, great. So let me email you right now. If you spend the $10 right now, you're going to enter into winner take all. Okay, so get your gift code ready. Congrats. Okay, so Sean, I'm about to email you right now your code. I'm just going to look up your email right now. There it is. And this is for $10. As good as cash, my friend. Okay, Sean. Uh, all you got to do is add spots to your uh, cart. On checkout, just apply, copy and paste that code into the apply promo section, and it will reduce your total by $10. And you're good to go. All right, this is pack 102. Okay, let's record. Oh, we are recording. Wow, I've been recording the whole time. Oh, Dad, never stop recording. I think. Mm, let's try it again. All right, this is for 89 score football pack 102. Good luck to Miles, Mario, Earl, Skyler. Everyone looking for that Barry Roberts rookie card, Troy Aikman rookie card, uh, Rock Woodson. No problem, Sean. Thank you, man, for paying attention. <laughs> Wanted to give you guys a hard question. All right, here we go. Let's randomize the list seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, let's email this out. Okay, Skyler, you get the first card out of the pack right here in the front. Good luck to everyone. What's up, Troy? Yeah, yeah. Dion, that's right. You got Dion. You also got um, Derek Thomas. So nice Hall of Famers, Ricky Hall of Famers. Dennis Gentry, first card out. Card two, Jeff Bryant. Part three, Ricky Sanders. Part four, John Offerdahl. Uh, yes, I want to say Michael is in this one. I think he is. Lewis Lips. <laughs> Zach Hample. I don't know. Neil Lomax. For Skyler. Alright, here comes the rookies. Yes, some rookie cards. The only reason I'm happy is because some of the packs don't come with rookies. And that's really annoying. Alright, first up 
Sammy Smith. For the Dolphins. Hey, Robert, uh, 65. I'll check it out, Rob. I'll check it out. Cart 8, Skyler. Steve Atwater. All right. I think he's a Hall of Famer, I think. Is it Atwater a Hall of Famer, guys? I don't remember. For nine, Eric Ball. Eric Ball. Ten, Shane Collin. All right, that's it for the rookies. That's it for the rookies, guys. We can still pull a Rob Woodson out of these regular cards. You gotta find out. Eleven. Gerald Wilhite. Come on, Robert. We'll get to it, my friend. Nice. Herschel Walker. I think that's his last card in his in the Cowboys uniform. I think. Or does he have a 1991? He might have a 1991. I don't remember. And Herschel again. Speed burner. Herschel Walker. 14. Steve Largent. Record breaker. And last card, Lawrence Taylor, the Predator. There you go, guys. 89 score football, pack 102. In the books. Uh, oh, yeah. I wanted to check that for you, Robert. Let's we'll see if it's done yet. Uh, 1976. Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. Let's see, sixty-three, sixty-four. Yeah, sixty-five has not been done yet, Rob. Uh, okay, cool. Not yet, Rob. We'll get to it. <coughs> True, Jeff, true. Da, 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 da. Oh, that's not it. What was it, the, the father one? What was the Carzat? The what? The father one. Was that the other one? The father one. What was that? What are you talking about? Which one? Uh, yeah, this one. Oh, he's not a Hall of Famer. Okay. I, I, I didn't remember. I know he's a big superstar. Andy, I want to say like 90s, like mid 90s, maybe? Or late 90s? Okay. 
So Robert, I do have your pack here. I'll do that next. Chef, WTA, uh, a new one. The new one's up. Uh, it's the one that we had before. Uh, since we still had a Sandy Colfax still running. It's the uh, King Griffey Jr. one. $10 entry. So Robert Bacon, I'll do it next. Yep, no problem, my friend. All right, seventy nine tops. How come I can't find this book? One on nine. Okay, that's why. Sam really needs to fix his handwriting. It's so bad. I can't read it sometimes. I thought it was a four. That's why I couldn't find it. I got to talk to Sammy tomorrow. Chef. <laughs> Understandable, Chef. Understandable. I'm sure you have plenty of King Griffey Jr. rookie cards. Uh, okay, so let's uh, update that. There it is. This is for a 1979 Tots Football Wax Pack, number 109. Good luck to Nicholas, Jonathan, Brian, Cannon, Eric. That is a four on the rim. One, two, three, four. If it was Billy with the uh, untouched, Bat, yep, I'm sure you were being that one. Yes. So I was going over the uh, the numbers of Robert's texting me about the winner take all. Yeah. But I think that uh, one of the purchases didn't go through Magento. Really? It's from Eric, yeah, I looked. Oh, he bought some spots in the great hit random. Another one from yeah. PayPal? Yeah. Yeah, we won't see it. Like, we don't, that's a problem. If well, it's, I saw it. I know, but if it's held, we, we, Magento won't pick it up. Well, no, Magento did pick it up. It oh, it did pick it up. It deducted the spots from the oh, hit random. Oh, I'll see from here. Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. So, so what I'm doing is I'm coming over yeah, to great. let you know he How made much? a nice purchase. We appreciate it. Great. But basically, you should. You, it, it's this is this is. I don't want you know. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell Rob the total. So yeah. yeah, this is the total. Hey, Eric. I'm sorry, man. It just PayPal keeps putting a hold on some of your things just because they're protecting you. They want to make sure that it's not a fraud. Or anything like that. So sometimes so you understand that. So you should update. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so we'll, we'll add Eric to because uh, I knew that he didn't get it when he told me how many spots were left. I'm like, I don't think we're even close. And then I realized he didn't see it. I figured it all out. So that's the scoop. So basically, I believe the winner take all is going to be closed. And I know that we moved along nicely on the bo on the bonus box. Okay. So Robert's going to yeah. update that now and let you know the information. Okay. And I'm going to actually uh, finalize that another winner take all because uh, um, now this one's closed. Okay. Okay. Just got deja vu. That's crazy. What is that? I just got deja vu. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> okay. All right. So, all right. So, Eric. Uh, yep. Late until us. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate your it. Purchase. Uh, yeah. You know, if PayPal puts a hold on it, it we can't see it from our end. Uh, Basically, it's really annoying. Yeah. It's 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 showing up on one screen. Yeah. As it deducted it from inventory, which is great, mm -hmm. but on the screen when you actually look at the orders and we track it the come promos, yeah. it's not there. So that's kind of the. It's really the annoying. Thing. Yeah. Thanks for letting us know, Eric. Okay. Seven nine one oh nine. It's done. Hey Kevin, uh I pulled a Campbell. Uh no, I'm sorry, I, I pulled the Aussie. I pulled the Aussie Newsom rookie. Mike pulled the uh Earl Campbell rookie. I think two of them. Do you ever get paid in vintage cards? In <laughs> no. 
<laughs> no, Andy. Uh, all right. Brian, first card right here. Yeah, Layton did one too. That's right, Brian. Uh, card number one, Pete Johnson, Bengals. Card number two for Brian, Tony Gilbreth. Yo, J5, we're not talking about it much on the show, but you know, we're going to be there. Me, myself, you, V8 at the uh, show this weekend. Mm -hmm. So, you know, on top of it opens, let everyone know about Just Collect, uh, you know, what we're looking for. Basically, buy vintage cards from the 70s and earlier. Okay. Uh, did you say again that that Burke situation is coming in tomorrow? Uh, I'm hoping. Uh, I didn't hear back, so I'm hoping. Yeah. Okay. So we don't know. No, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, Lee, I'll probably head out here at 7.30. So okay. if you want to do... 7 to 7.30, we're going to take all. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay, cool. Great. Go ahead, dude. Am I ready? So, hey, Mike. So, all the packs that's on the break schedule for today for today, will be live. So, all the yeah. packs listed on the break schedule for today will be, will be live. Yeah. That's a pretty thing. Uh, yeah, so Mike, uh, everything you see on the, on the break schedule is packs that we've gotten before we went live. So if things were sold out, if things sold out while we're live, you won't see that update until tomorrow, because we don't do the update while we're live. Uh, but yes, the packs you saw today, I'm trying to get through. So, uh, but yes, the break calendar usually updates the next day too. So card three, Nicholas, Bo Harris. Part four, Don Calhoun, Patriots. Car five, Charlie Joyner. Is it a hundred percent? It's crazy. It's so annoying that I can't see the time stamp on these, and I don't know why. All right, I'll do that. Who's a Hall of Famer? Oh, Hall of Famer. Yeah, yeah. They're a rookie Hall of Famer. Not Ken. <laughs> Car six, Roger Worley. Roger Worley. Card seven. Sydney Thornton. It's a nice card. Card eight. Rufus Mays. So guys, so we're gonna take all close out, right? Bro? Yeah. Yeah. It, $20. The the new one, the ten dollar. Yeah. Okay, so the uh, ten dollar we're gonna take all guys is closed. A new one is coming up like soon, like right now almost. Uh, it's going to be from seven to seven thirty. That's it. Seven thirty we lock it up. So it doesn't matter you know, the entries, it's just whatever you purchase. I had to find out exactly from Leighton how long how much you have to spend. But we'll get that. We'll get to that as soon as he comes in. Kevin Long. Card ten. Mike Mikkel.
Marvin Powell, Jets. And the last card in the pack for Brian, Andy Johnson. All right, guys, 79 Toss Football Pack 109 in the books. Okay, 76 Tops Hockey coming up. This is Pack 65. Hey TCW, uh, we have opened up a 70 tops uh, cello pack, 70 tops football cello pack, but we didn't pull an OJ Simpson rookie, unfortunately. There was, it was not in that pack, uh, but we have, we have tried. Okay, let's record. This is for 1976 Tops Hockey Wax Pack number 65. Good luck to Alan, Danny, and Robert. Good luck, guys. <clears throat> Seven on the row. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, man. We were hoping to get one, man. Did not show up. Besides him, I think, I don't know if there's any high-end cards, like, money-wise in that set, besides OJ. The other Hall of Famers, I don't think, go as hot as much as him in a 10. Um, okay. So, Alan, first card, right here. Good luck. We got it looks like checklist 133 to 254. I'm sorry, 264. Card two Wayne Stephenson, goalie for the Flyers. Card three Sil Epps. Pink wins. Car four. Bobby Sheehan. Photo card in every pack. Let's take it. Okay, so I think this is part of the break. I think it is. One, two, three, four, four, five. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, it's part of the pack. Yeah, they grade them. Yeah. And, and the better stars are very desirable. Oh, you got the next winner. Okay. Yep. So, guys, this is going to be uh, the last winner take all from 7 to 7.30. Mm -hmm. So, John, I want you to see uh, what I did there. It's actually a little bit different than what I usually do. So, the winner take all, John, is that entire vintage stack. Mm -hmm. It's pretty uh, – some, some fairly nice cards in there. Plus a $50 break credit, right? Mm -hmm. It's $5 per entry. Okay. So, what's kind of cool is for this one, is a little thank you for the last few days and selling out the Bowman Pack so quick. Okay. Spots 2 through 10 on the randomizer – are all like in other words, they lost the vintage stack and the fifty dollar break credit. Well, they're still going to get one spot in the seventy three top of baseball separate. Oh, that's cool. As long as they, you know, buy one entry for five bucks from seven to seven thirty, they'll have a chance at that. So once again, spot one is that entire vintage stack as a typical winner take all plus a fifty dollar break credit, mm -hmm. and then the quote unquote losers are the outsiders looking in from two to ten 
are going to get one 1973 Topps baseball set break spot. All right. Because you got to spend five bucks a minute break from 7 to 7.30 for one entry to qualify. All right, guys. So we've got the last one to take all here. Uh, it started at 7 p.m. So, Rob, uh, all you got to do is just put down whoever spends $5. That's it. You spend five bucks, you're in it. Five bucks, you're in it. You got 30 minutes. Well, now you have 22 minutes. Uh, first place would get this vintage stack, which I'll go over right now. A $50 break credit. Two through 10 actually get a free spot in our 73 Toss Baseball set break. So, some winners in this one. Uh, we have a uh, 58. Uh, is it 58? I think it's 58. Roy Campanella MVP. Got the uh, 66 home run leaders with Willie Mays, Hank Aaron, Richie Allen. 58 Whitey Ford. <coughs> there it is. 84 tops. John Elway, rookie Hall of Fame card. And it goes on the twenty dollars And it looks like we just closed on the uh on the bonus guys, the uh the box. We closed up on that. You got a fifty seven tops Warren Spawn. Got hundred spots, right? Uh yes, a hundred spots at twenty. Fifty nine all stars, Sam Usual. 59 tops Nelly Fox. We got 55 tops Monte Irvin. We got a 54 Bowman out Shindinst or Red Shindinst. Oh, hate saying his name. Uh, 62 tops Billy Williams. Jim Bunning from 61 tops. This is 79. Goose Gossage. It's a nice action shot right there. We got 70, oh, sorry, 81. 81, Kurt Gibson. <clears throat> Speaking of OJ, there's my man OJ Simpson with, uh, rocking out his uh, tech jersey there. All time single season rushing leader. You know, he. He was great for a while until, you know, the whole situation. Uh, I don't know where he is right now. Is he back in jail or is he on parole? I don't know what he's doing. Uh, Ray Guy. And 78 Tops, Mike Webster. That is the winner take all stack. But 2 to 10 also get free spots. In the 73 top space will set break, which is on our website. Once it sell, sells out, and if you're in here between 2 and 10, your name will be on the list as a freebie. So it'll be free because obviously you want it. You'll see a little arrow next to your name that represents a free spot. So that would be you. <coughs> Can't have forced to go <laughs> Good question. All right. So you guys got 20 minutes. All you got to do is spend five bucks. That's it. Five bucks and you're in. Uh, Nicholas, yes, you spent two hundred dollars. You're going to get uh, your spots in the winner take all. There's no limit, so there's no you know, a hundred entries or hundred fifty. It's just it just keeps going. So if you spent two hundred bucks, by all means, you get, you get your uh, forty entries, and then uh, by seven thirty, we cut everyone off. Seven thirty, we cut you off. That's it. So good luck. Thank you. Nicholas, if you do purchase. All right, card five, it is Rod Gilbert. <coughs> For Alan Pavic. <coughs> card six, Jean Provin. I came out here a good time, Jean. Real piece of Yeah, Islanders. Card seven. Canucks team card, the Smithy division. Smythe. Oh, Smythe. Called Smythe. What's that mean, Smythe division? Uh, I don't know what it stood for. Probably like a person. Um, but it's a trophy. Or it was a division of a trophy. Hey, John, I'm uh, doing the uh, fixed price. Mm -hmm. The more expensive Bowman's, do I have to adjust the shipping or do you think? I did not adjust it. Okay. I did not adjust it. <clears throat> Heartland Monahan. Capitals. Uh, 
and the last or oh, second to last card, sorry, John Marks. Blackhawks. Now the last card. Peter Mahovich. Canadians. There you go, guys. 76 Tops Hockey Pack 65 in the books. <clears throat> All right, let's clear that up. See if I can try to do this. All right, guys, let's do the uh, the giveaway. Um, it is the twenty. Actually, I'll do the when I take off first. The the, the top co signer box, John. Do you plug open? Yeah. Probably too. So when I take all number two of the day. Hey, what's up, Adam? All right, so this one, wow. Okay, so that's right, Eric got this one. <laughs> Looks like he a bunch. Yeah, so, all right. You know, it's funny, John, the way I found out is that at the time, there was 19 spots left in the new Hitman room, and I saw that someone bought three through Magento, and I'm like, what? Where's the other three? I'm like, I bet you there's some order, and I just happened to, like, think about it and that's how I figured it out because mm. I wasn't watching the chat or anything. Yeah, he's been uh people has been good to him past recent sales. It's just one time and now this is a second time. Yeah to be fair I think Jim C went through that for a little bit now it seems okay. Yeah he seems okay now. Alright Nicholas sounds good my man sounds good uh okay so oh you're talking about the two hundred oh you're talking about the hundred snapper this one uh yeah so since you purchased two uh if you purchase 200 you get two entries into this if you're talking about this mantle then yes if you're talking about uh the hit random i forgot what was the buy-in for the hit random which one the high end or yeah. the, uh that was 200 bucks oh, okay so yeah it's you on get, the site for 200 bucks so, it's 90 graded cards you're guaranteed a graded card yeah so nicholas if you're talking about this one then good luck to you you got one entry uh into this mantle Uh, and we won't break, we won't wait on that, John. So whatever day that sells out, mm -hmm. we're gonna break it. It's the uh, PSA one, P two mantle, yep. PSA one. Yeah, yeah. And then the other mantle, <clears throat> the hundred dollar snapper, is graded SEC three point five. All right, yeah, Nicholas, I figured. Okay, <laughs> I wasn't sure, so I want to cover all grounds. Uh, okay, we're going to take all time. Number two. Okay, this is for our, our second we're going to take all of the day uh, where some lucky individual is going to win this 89 Fleer King Griffey Jr. card, PSA 9, along with a bunch of <clears throat> stars and Hall of Famers from uh, 50s, 60s, 70s, including Nelly Fox, Cepeda, Wilhelm, Martin, Wynn, Stangle, Ashburn, Winfield, Perry, Gossage, Brown, Jurgensen, Bradshaw, Snell, Harris, Cross, and Riggins. There can only be one winner. Let's see who it is. Hey, Kenneth. Uh, yeah, you know, I will probably go with uh, PSA. Um, but, you know, everybody has their own personal 
opinion on that. Ten on the random. Ten. <clears throat> One. Two. Three. By the way, Eric has a lot of spots in this one because he made a big purchase. So, five, six. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, Justin got up there. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, seven, Eric. Eight, Eric. It's on ten. So eight, nine, and the winner of the winner take all number two is at ten. Eric Sansala, yes. All right, congrats, Eric. That is going to you, my friend. Robert, I'm glad you asked me about this with Peach Cups. Yeah, those are the pain to take those. And this is going to go out to Victoria. There it is. So, Eric Sansala, free spot. 1973 Tops Baseball Olympic. All right, thanks, Eric. Appreciate it. Congratulations uh, to everyone else, Sean, Justin. Uh, all right, there's our winner. Take on number two. Nice little package right there. Uh, okay. Again, guys, the $5 winner take all is still in effect, along with prizes for number 2 through 10. Uh, don't forget, tomorrow night, we are going to be opening this 1955 Bowman Baseball Wax Pack. Uh, PSA 7 is created here, but uh, that doesn't mean anything. Because as you guys know from last year, the the cell pack was created at 7, I believe, correct? The cell pack was created. Oh, it doesn't matter. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't matter because yeah. we pulled 9s and 8.5s and... Halves and Eights and yes, yeah. it's pretty wild. It's crazy. <clears throat> um, okay, so let's do one more pack and then I'll do the uh, the bonus um, giveaway and we'll break it tomorrow, probably uh, when I get on because we're running out of time here. All right, so 83 tops baseball. John, PSA show today was fun. Yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of people watching. We have fifty five people at one point watching. <clears throat> okay, eighty three Toss baseball last pack number eighty seven. Good luck to Daniel, Scott, and Steve. Here we go. I'm looking for a seven this time. Let's roll that seven. Four. All right. One, two, three, four. All right, Steve. First and last card in the pack. Done. Okay. First card out, Steve, right here, <clears throat> front side. All right, first up, Mr. Gary Carter. Right off the bat for Steve. Hey, Jeff, this is 83 Tops Baseball, pack 87. Looking for Ryan Sandberg rookie, Way Boggs, uh, Tony Gwynn. Card number two, Luis Salazar. Card three, Jim Sundberg, Rangers. Card four, Charlie Leah. Or Leia. Steve, you want ten, Rick and I? Rick and Manning. I don't think I ever pulled a Rick in front of the set. It's weird. 
I also haven't pulled a Ryan Sandberg. I pulled every other rookie, but uh, but Ryan. Ryan. John, you know what's kind of funny? Isn't it amazing how you remember, like what you pulled, it just starts sticking with you? Yeah, he's on my bucket list <laughs> to pull. Willie Upshaw. I know Mike's pulled a couple. I have not pulled any yet. Part seven, J. Johnstone. This is nothing. Part eight, Fergie Jenkins. Why is that, Kevin? Card 9. Dave Rosimo. Card 10. Ron Say. Eleven. Tony Perez. Super veteran. Twelve. Dave Edwards. For the Padres. <clears throat> Thirteen. It is the Orioles team leaders with Eddie Murray, Jim Palmer. Nice. That's for uh, Scott Dennis. 14. Lee Mazzilli. The Yankees. 15. And the last card in the pack Mr. Ted Simmons, Super Veteran. Wow, 1968, his first year. All right, there you go, guys. 83 Toss Baseball, Wax Pack number 87. <clears throat> In the books. <clears throat> you guys got five minutes before we cut you off, man. Five minutes in the wear and take off. There's no and ifs, or buts. If you spent one minute over 7.30, you will not be <laughs> in the wear and take off. I know I'm straight. I'm sorry. Uh, I had to. There was actually a card once with Jeffries and Sayings. Ah, did I know that, Jeff? All right. Let's do the next one. <coughs> All right. This is the 100 entries at $20. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to run them off. I'll get the top 15, uh, I'll, and we'll break the box tomorrow. I'll break it. It's cool. Tops, co sign. Uh, does that fit? Nope. Try again. Nope. Ah, come on. Let's try this. All right, there we go. Hey, Nicholas. Yep, at seven thirty, my friend. I'll cut it off at 7.30. I'll get the names from Rob. I'll roll the dice and run them off. So, <laughs> Steve goes on. Uh, so, no more Nicholas. We'll find out who's going to win that winner take off. Um, all right. So, let's get the list for this. All right, Chef. You got two spots on this one. All right. Let's record. This is for our 2007 Tops Co-Signers uh, bonus box.
box. Oh, we had we need a hundred entries at twenty dollars. We fill that up. Top fifteen get prizes. So top twelve will get a pack in this box. I'll, we'll open it up tomorrow, and then uh, you know we'll see who gets what. And then uh, 13, 14, and 15 will get a free spot in the 73 top space while separate. Uh, Jeff, uh, yes, Jeff, right here. So for first place, you'll be getting uh, a Roy Campanella MVP card. Home run leaders with Aaron and Mays. That's uh, 66, uh, sorry, 67 tops. Uh, 59, YD4, John Elway Rookie Hall of Fame card. 57, Spawn. 59 uh, All-Star, All-Star, Stan Musial, 59 Nelly Fox, 55 Monte Irvin, 54 Bowman Sheendenst, can't say that name, Billy Wayne, Shane, yeah, <laughs> 62 Taz, Billy Williams, 61 Jim Bunning, it's fun for me to be out here. Uh, Goose Gossage, Kirk Gibson, OJ Simpson, Ray Guy, and Mike Webster. Meanwhile, 2nd to 10th will get a free spot in the 73 top space baseball set break. That is never done before. Uh, that is the winner take all. All you guys do is spend five dollars, Jeff. Five bucks. You got two minutes. <clears throat> two minutes. That's all you got. No problem, Jeff. If you're in it, good luck, my friend. All right, let's do this real quick. We're gonna bank it off the wall on the box. Let's see what we get. Now you're calling your shots. Seven. Wow. Woo. Nailed it. All right. <laughs> Seven times. Top 15, guys. Top 15. And ladies. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And top 15 are at seven. Uh, G5, so are you... Are we breaking till just a few minutes after seven thirty, or are you staying late? Because I just wanted to know. Uh, seven thirty. Okay, that's all. Uh, I'll do the the winner take all. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you yep. for uh, taking care. Of it. So, oh, guys, I appreciate here we go at seven, guys. Here we go. Uh, no, Jason, this is for the bonus box. This uh, we started this yesterday. We needed a hundred entries at twenty dollars, so we just filled it up uh, a little bit earlier today. I need the top fifteen. The top twelve get packs. In this box, the 13 through 15 get a free spot in the 73 top space will separate. So here we go. At seven, top 15 are Eric Sansala. Up down to Eric Sansala. <coughs> All right, let me put it on the board. There are your top 15. All right, so one through 12. Congratulations. You guys will get a free pack in this box. We'll open it up tomorrow. Um, first thing first, and then Eric, you swept the last three, so you're getting three free spots in the 73 top space while separate. So let me email Victoria. Uh, John, you're gonna do the giveaway for the 7 to 7 30, right? Yeah, awesome. mm -hmm. uh, now uh, I understand. I thought we were open spot. Oh, they would be late. Oh, no, we do that tomorrow. Yeah, yeah free no, spots. I'm gonna work a little bit on it myself to try to uh, get ready for the convention, which I can't believe is already this weekend. Yeah, yeah. Close on that, 7 30. Yeah. Close guys, 7 30. We're close. We're close. We're gonna take off. Sorry, I missed it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is gonna be 1973 Taz baseball set. Break. Okay, all right, Eric, your spots are done. Uh, I'm going to remove you from here and let me put that up again. There you are. Now I got my top 12. Hey, Paul. Uh, not, not yet. Not yet, Paul. All right. So, Eric, you have a couple spots in here. Kevin, George, John Agius, Skyler Giles, Joseph Cerullo, John Agius, John Agius. Okay. You guys uh, all have spots in this box. We'll do it tomorrow. So, I'm going to email myself this list. Top 12 only. And it's going to be for 2000 and vintage breaks. 2007 tops co signage baseball box bonus. Awesome. Okay, so that takes care of that. Now I'm going to get the names for the giveaway and let's see who wins. 
this stack of vintage cards. No problem, Paul. All right, so. Baseball box bonus. And there's 12 packs in here. Okay, so we'll do this tomorrow. Gonna get some bags ready. Okay. We're gonna take all time, guys. We're gonna take all. Got some new people also who participated, so they're anxious. This is the first one to take all. Some of you are, it's your second one for tonight. Um, all right, so let's get here. This is where to take all number three. Yowzers. That's a lot of names. All right. Yeah, it's been busy. Okay, let's record, go over the cards, and find out who wins. This is for our third winner take all of the night, where some lucky individual and individuals will be winners. Uh, first place will get this entire stack of uh, vintage cards, including Hall of Famers, stars like Roy Campanella. Hank Aaron, Willie Mays, Whitey Ford, John Elway, Rookie Card, Warren Spawn, Sam Usual, Nelly Fox, Monte Irvin, Shanti's Sh Atkins, Willie Williams, Jim Bunning, Goose Gossage, Kirk Gibson, OJ, Ray Guy, and Mike Webster. And then 2 through 10, we'll get a free spot in the semi uh, three top space will separate. I remember uh, part of the vintage stack is a $50, $50 break rate, right? too. Yeah. Yep. First place nice, also nice gets it. Yes. If you call on top, you'll be pretty happy. Here we go. Good luck to everyone who participated. If this is your first or second. Congrats and to the regulars. You know how this works. It's definitely important for the green cards to make yeah. sure Four on the random. Here we go. Like, it's One. Be a mess yeah. it won't take too much time. Steve Venom on top. Yeah. And then the young green slot. Two. Green jury take out of there. Jeffrey yeah, yeah. Goggin on top. Yeah. And you know, it's like, Three. Order, you just put it by price. David Bolin on top. David. Wow. Oh, you tortured him, John. Making it on top. Oh, yeah. And then the winner of oh, the winner take all and winners. I need the top ten. Is at four. Wow, Nicholas Lubrick. Nicholas, congratulations. You are the winner of the winner take all. Yeah, Bolin. I saw you, David. Look, you got two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. These are my top ten. Let's put it on the big board. Congratulations to you guys. All right, so Nicholas, you do, you are the big winner. Uh, you're going to get um, the whole stack of vintage cards. So Nicholas, last name of Lubrick. That is your entire stack, my friend. <clears throat> Congratulations. Uh, that will be shipped out to you uh, tomorrow, uh, either tomorrow or Monday. So uh, look out for that. And also, you get a 50 lot break credit, which I will email Victoria to make sure she gets you. He, she gets you that. Uh, $50 break credit for Nicholas. Uh, and that is yours. Now, 2 to 10. So I'm going to get David three spots. Jason a spot. Nicholas, you're going to get another spot. Steve Venom, David Bowl, another spot. Jason Mayer, and Nicholas again. So you guys are going to get free spots into our um, set break. So also email Victoria. 1973 Tops Baseball Set Break. Free spots. Okay, that's it. You guys have been awesome. Thank you so much for uh, hanging out with me. I am Johnny5, or J5 for short. Um, we'll be back on tomorrow at, um, I would say, 4, 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, but that was our winner take all number three. It's been our show. Thank you so much. Uh, you guys, whoever purchased today, you're also into our big uh, weekly promo, which ends on Sunday at uh, 
2 p.m. Eastern Time. The big giveaway is for every spot you purchase, you get one entry. So you purchase 20 spots, you gain 20 entries. In the big giveaway, first prize is the 68 Tops Mickey Mantle PSA 8. That is for first place for the big giveaway. And we also have our $100 promo. So you spend, if you spend $100, you're going to be getting one entry. A top five get prizes. The big giveaway is a top 25 get prizes. So you guys have been wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you. On behalf of Layton, Rob, and myself, we'll, uh, have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow. VintageBreaks.com.